Yay, we are. Okay, I'm just gonna check that's working. I never know how this works. There we go. Yeah, okay, that's going. You can hear me fucking around not knowing how to do it. I'm just gonna let the Discord know, and then we'll get right in to the stream, which is gonna be great. Um, so let's just hit everyone, cause I, you know, I'm uh, I'm I'm kind of an asshole. Um, I think that was the rock. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> I ca I cannot multitask. I can't talk and copy links at the same time. Uh, there we go. Cool, that'll do. Yeah, I want to send it to 700 people. That's the point of having the Discord. All right, okay, how are we all doing? Oh, you do hear me, nice. Um, great, so, what are we doing today? We're doing, um, well, we're, what the title says. We're building and then bombing a flak term. And if you don't know what a flak term is, let me get you a picture. Oh, <laughs> shit, I'm going to have to do a thing. How do I do just a display capture? I think that's what I want. There we go. I think I got it. Right. Oop. Um, don't add me on Steam. I, I won't add you back. Oh, God. Everything's fucking up. <laughs> okay. That's a flak term. It's basically uh, something the Nazis invented in World War II, which is a giant concrete tower that you put a bunch of flak guns on, which basically can't be destroyed um, because it's just so, like, tough. And they've tried to demolish these because they still exist in various places. Vienna is one of them. Um... Uh, anyway, they, and they've tried to blow them up to, like, get rid of them, but they just you, they just can't figure out how to destroy them. And that's the point of them. Um, and they have a limited usability, because obviously they're just one thing in one city. Um, but the bombers would try to avoid them, so they had that effect. And also they were really great when the uh, tanks came in. You could just fucking be like, hey, just use the turn those 88mm AA guns at the tanks and you've got like a fucking fortress. And that's what we're going to build today out of metal and then we're going to blow it up with BD Armory because that sounds like fun, doesn't it? Alright, let's hide this, get back to the game. Alright. Hey Maximus Light, how you doing? Um, <laughs> the stream gives the internet more evidence that you're a Nazi. I know, the evidence is getting pretty bad. Alright, so first thing we want to do is build a flak term. Um, of course. Uh, Discord ping gang waya where you at? All right, uh, I know the words. I know the I know what the what the youths say. He said, being a Gen Z, um, I finally come to terms with that. Uh, <laughs> when I was younger, I was like, I'm not Gen Z. I'm fucking a millennial, bro. Which I'm really not, on account of me not being in that age group. I am just about Gen Z. And I was like, am I Gen Z? And then I realized I have a YouTube channel and I vape, so yeah, I'm pretty much Gen Z. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to build a big metal tower, and we're going to use Tweak Scale to make it easier, because it'll keep the parts down and make it tougher, because we want this to be tough as hell. We want it to be kind of bomb-proof, right? So let's build this out like this for now, and today I actually am going to use Auto Struts, even though I usually don't, because hey, it's, they're just better than normal struts. So, nope, wait, how do I... Auto strut, there we go. Heaviest part. Alright, that's the base of our tower. And I'm going to do something not very flat to me, but I think I might need some stability. So I'm going to add uh, some landing legs. Just to keep it standing up. Alright, cool. And then we'll grab one of these. Thusly. And, uh... Can you just... There we go. We're good? Alright. Um, cool. Um, does BD Armory cost money? Nope, it's a free mod. I think all mods in KSP are free, so you're good. And this fuel tank will be good because it, uh... I'm sorry for this train noise. I've moved house and I'm nearer the train track than I thought I was. But it should be okay with this microphone. If it's not, then I don't know what to tell you. Um, anyway, yeah, this fuel tank will be good because it'll kind of weigh it down, which should be good. Oh, and these all keep their auto-strutting. That is nice. Man, KSP is, uh come a long way since I since the old days all right there we go so that's looking pretty flat to me it's putting it's looking like a tower you know um, I'll be watching Android thing tomorrow by the way what what are you talking about what's Android's thing tomorrow I have no idea what that is um, <laughs> what about what's going on here who is hoping didn't win Win fighter subscribe but what? Didn't win fighter subscribe earlier today then? Well, I don't know what I'm done. Uh, I've lost track of the conversation already. <laughs> All right, maybe that's tall enough. Um, anyone watched the Neuralink thing yesterday? 
I didn't catch that. I do want to watch a lot of the presentations that uh, Musk's giving, but Neuralink I'm not too interested in. I kind of partly think that uh, it's probably not gonna do what he's saying it's gonna do. Like what it's doing now, I think there's already that technology exists. Um, maybe it will, but I don't know. He put a chip in a pig though, that's, uh, <laughs> that's something, <laughs> you know? He put a chip in a pig's brain, and I haven't done that, so good on Musk for... <laughs> <laughs> that poor pig. <laughs> oh. Anyway, um, yeah, cool. So that's the base tower. Let's see if that stands up, and let's call it Flak Term. Um, there was a really great level in that game Dave and me I used to play um, called Flak Term, and it was pretty good. Like, you'd fight your way up a Flak Term. I'm going to say Flak Term a lot in this stream, and it's probably going to get old. Mm. October for Starship. Fuck yeah. Um... I, I I saw that, that he's going to give the presentation then, because maybe Super Heavy will have hopped by then. I'm dubious about that, but who knows? They are working on the high bay, you know? They're getting ready to do the Super Heavy. Uh, that'll be cool. And they did do their 150 meter hop, you know, with Starship. It's looking pretty cool. I, I know, I really think they're going to do great things with that. I just think Musk is always like, ah, we'll get it done this year, and then it's like, next year he'll do it, and that's fine. But you just got to take that into account. Alright, yeah, that's looking pretty flak to me. Um, let's compare it to the size of guns, actually, because this may be too small. I think I closed my flak term window. I need to know what it looks like a little more. Um, it is, yeah, because you got to have those things around the outside. We'll, we'll try and do that. 150 meter for SN6 tomorrow. Oh, yeah, that's tomorrow. Shit. They are making really good progress. Um, I'm very much looking forward to the future on Mars or whatever. Yeah, yeah, it's a little small. I think we stick with this for now, though, and see. And we can build a bigger one if we need to, you know? Um, alright. Cool. So I'm gonna want, like, some... Because it has these little circular, like, almost balcony-looking things. Um, it's got a big, nice balcony for viewing the Russians coming to take over your city. Um, alright, cool. So I'm gonna put in some of that. Uh, maybe well, we can just use these like that yeah that looks good I mean it looks fine <laughs> I think actually maybe a little higher would be better give it more clearance um, 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Eastern time because that's what like midnight here which is fine because it's a bank holiday on Monday um, could you try the naval cannons mod if you want some bigger guns I think all of those mods are out of date um, maybe they're not, maybe I'm I'm out of date, but uh, <laughs> I think when I checked those mods were kind of out of date. Um, yeah, it's looking flat term -ish. Um, I Like, I also really wanted Aviator Arsenal because that's a really good weapons mod for World War II weapons and KSP, but that hasn't been updated in a fucking long time, which is a shame because it was awesome. Um, we actually, I we used to talk to the guy who worked on that because in basically in Fall of Kerbin, like we had loads of really specific needs and mod developers were really great at being like, yeah, I can do that and just like changing their mods for us, which was super cool um, because it wouldn't have been very easy without that. Like, in fact, when we were starting Fall of Kerbin, um, we were going to use 30 millimeter tail guns for our, uh, for our little fighter's tail gun, well, our fighter bomber tail guns because we just didn't have anything else. Um, and then someone was like, no, I can make a 30 cal one, it's okay, man. And that was really useful. Um, BD Armory and RSS Realism Overhaul. Yeah, that'd be uh, interesting. I think a war mod in uh, Realism Overhaul would be cool. Like, actually on Earth. Like, that might be cool. Okay, that's a little big for them. But that's okay. I think... Maybe we have, like, chain turrets here for close-in defense. Like so. Do you reckon it'll ever use them, though, is the real question. Obviously, so we're also using modern weapons, because, like I said, we couldn't, I couldn't find any uh, World War II weapon mods that actually worked. So <laughs> we're going to live with that, and it's going to be fine. But we do have these. Maybe, actually, we could have, like... It'd look jank as fuck, but we could... Or I could just... We could have... Oh, yeah, you can't just double symmetry, can you? That's annoying. So if I had, like, two flak guns, 
point with this. I think I may build this too small. We'll make it bigger later, but I'm gonna just get into some shooting because that'll be more fun than watching me build for an hour. And then maybe I'll ref refine it later. Um, all right, so if I were to do that. Yeah, that looks looking cool. It's got some guns on it. We'll see how that works. Um, I need to give it some ammo and a weapon manager and a probe and some power generation. But then it should be good and we can just kind of see how it do and then try and build something to blow it up. And then if that goes well, we'll do it again bigger. <laughs> uh, bigger, harder, stronger, faster. Work it or whatever. Um, Alright, so we need a good old weapon manager. Um, that's not how that word's pronounced, Peter. That's a very different word. Uh, <laughs> um, God, where is the weapon manager? There it is. Alright, perfect. And we're going to need a fucking lot of flak ammo. So let's um, 30 mil, 50 cal. What does the flak gun use? Like, surely there's some. Does it still use 30 mil? Uh, yeah, it still uses 30 mil. Okay, cool. I thought it might. And that's good because most of our. All of our weapons use 30 mil. So let's scale these. Nope, that's not how that works anymore. Okay. <laughs> we'll just uh, do it like this. We'll just put shit tons in. And then we'll put it on. Oh, I should have got a Vessel Mover. Fuck. It's fine. We don't need Vessel Mover. We'll just put it on the launch pad. Or, we put it on some massive wheels. We'll put it on the launch pad for now, and if that doesn't work, I'll either get Vessel Mover or move it with wheels. It'll be great. Um, do the Universal Boxes work? Probably. Um, oh, I didn't put in Control or Power. I imagine... Yeah, yeah, I think the, uh, the Universal boxes work, I just didn't use them for reasons. Um, and <laughs> as with most things <laughs> I do, I'm not going to give you those reasons, because I don't know them. Because of my, my process is more freeform. Um, <laughs> which is uh, why I kept losing wars in, in uh, YouTube. In KSP, in YouTube. Um, the great YouTube wars. Alright, let's give it some power. And some power generation. Can I scale these up? I can. That's a little too big. Alright, that'll do. Let's put that out on the pad. Doesn't base KSB cheats have a vessel moving thing these days? No, it does have like a hack to orbit thing, but I don't think it has vessel mover. I don't think. Um, what's this? Well, tech by Gleb. Hex by Gleb Bagrov. Read that well. Um, <laughs> this is a flak term. It's a shitty, currently shitty, but will slowly get better, version of a big German flak term from World War II. And it's gonna be fun. Alright, let's say guns range is as much as you can do. 10,000 seems fine for visual range. And 360 field of view. And let's put down a quick save. And then let's go build a plane to bomb the shit out of it. Uh, well, I'm going to build a plane to check how well the shit works first. And then we'll do some bombing. Or I could just build it. Yeah, I'll just build it. Um, you can move vessels in Mission Builder. That sounds like a hassle. Um, <laughs> spaced armor. No, just loads of armor altogether. But spaced armor actually is, yeah, that's a really good idea. I should put some spaced armor on it. Um, and that would actually just be a good way to make it bigger incrementally. You're a smart man. Um, so I did get Fire Spitter, so we have some World War II inch, but it will be dropping Mark 82 bombs. So, you know, it, 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 it swings and roundabouts. Um, <laughs> where is payload? There we go. Bombay? 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 Uh, no, structural? Yeah, it's structural. Um, they just never updated that, I suppose. All right, that's looking like a good Bombay. Um, alright. Is that some fuel? Shit, yeah. And then we'll put some more fuel on the back. And then we'll put a tail on it. And then we'll go and do some bombs. It'll be great. Is that looking like a tail? It's looking like a wing mount. An engine mount? Yeah. Um, how oh cool, we've got the uh, biplanes. We could have some fun with biplanes trying to kill it. I don't think that'll work well, though. If I'm being honest. Is that? Uh, that would fit on the back. It'd look shitty, but uh, hopefully it'll be okay. 
update? When's when next collaborative warfare? Time? <laughs> oh yeah, um, after five years or whatever. That's that's right on the cusp of uh, coming back. Um, <laughs> I think Twitch is doing some kind of war series though. If you are jonesing for that kind of thing, with some people, Kerbal Combat, or I think that's what I think that's his name. Um, so you know, you can check that out. Actually, what am I talking about? I have tweet scale. I could just actually what I might do is find that nose cone that's like this and scale that up, otherwise it's going to be super long. There we go, that's looking shitty, um, which is what we want. And I need some big wings. Are these big wings? They're not that big. I was kind of hoping they'd be bigger, but I do have tweak scale. Um, are these? No, those are fighter wings. Those are almost as big. Alright, yeah, come on. I'll build my own wings. I prefer building my own wings. Um, Cool, so let's go with, where are the big, there, uh, the big wings, where's the center of mass, there, okay, but we're also going to have like a tail plane, so, nice, definitely way too far back, um, Cult and Combat is a thing, and Twitchy is involved, Android mentioned earlier, and one of, is one of the people invited, oh yeah, right, I see, cool, yeah, that'd be a, uh, Sounds like a good series, you know. Kerbal War is always fun, you know, because war is just great, you know, all the time. No matter. <laughs> now, nah, war's great in video games, not so much in real life. Um, yeah, I know, I know. Big, uh, brave, brave statements here. That's why we come to see tape. He makes those brave statements like war bad. It's the kind of thing I'm doing. Talking of brave statements, I saw something amazing when I was in Trafalgar Square today. Um, <laughs> There was a big fucking anti-mask protest. Like, I, I, I came out of the station, I was like, Ooh, a protest. I wonder if it's another, like, Black Lives Matter thing or Extinction Rebellion that you usually see. And I was like, oh, that might be interesting to see. And then I got there and I was like, fuck me, those are some anti-mask motherfuckers over here. And it was hilarious. Um, and then I was sitting at a coffee shop and someone <laughs> came and sat at the table next to me. And they were, like, talking about all this shit. And it was like, oh my god. Oh my god, these people. <laughs> Oh, what a day. What a good day. I love crazy people. It's just the best, you know? It's just free entertainment all the time. Um, hello from Berlin Flactrum. Oh yeah, you're at the Flactrum. Alright. Uh, tell me how, how realistic mine looks. Um, the one the word you're looking for is completely and utterly tape your genius. So, thank you for that in advance. <laughs> Alright. Um... Let them protest the masks in massive groups. Yep, that's that's what they that's what they did, and I in London, so I mean a lot of those people are getting coronavirus, which is good justice. I'm I hope they do. <laughs> I'd say not in a malicious way, but yeah, kinda. Like, you know, they came out, they did their thing, that's their right, and then they uh probably a lot of them are gonna get the virus and they're gonna be like, Oh yeah, it's it's not that bad and then uh, yeah, it'll be it'll be great. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that's that's the justice, you know. That's just just natural occurring justice. All right, this is looking awful. I love it. Um, okay, it's like a fucking. Oh god, I hate it. <laughs> right, yeah, because I've made it like swept, which is not what we want. We want, um, I guess, just like. Eh. Yeah, that'll. So if we do that, it's like almost slightly like a <laughs> plane of the era. Um, yeah, that looks still awful, but better, you know? <laughs> tape, tape making bold statements, exactly, yeah. Tape is a uh, real, uh, he's real brave with his opinions. Um, <laughs> okay, okay, maybe a little further back. Maybe slightly smaller on the whole tail. Yeah, let's get a... Uh, I like the big tail. Oh, oh. It's hard to have a United Society when everyone can be so ignorant. I, I, be so ignorant ideas presented by others. Yeah, well, people just don't want to, like, fucking, you know, believe other people. And that's true of everyone on all sides. Like, uh, like, it's gotten real fucking loud. Which is why I just don't really listen anymore. You know? Yeah, especially internet politics is, like just the fucking worst. Like, I used to have a Twitter account, and it was 
Um, oh my god, I don't know why I said it on Twitter for so long. It was awful. Like, I mean, <laughs> it's just like people constantly talking about their bullshit. And like, yeah, sometimes it's important issues, but sometimes I don't give a fuck, and can you leave me alone, <laughs> you know? So, yeah. Um, Alright, okay, let's put some L bonds on the back. Um, attach wing components to other wing components, like, so that the wing is one piece is good habit. Yeah, these are all attached together. I know these two pieces aren't, but I'll just strut them or something. Um... Anyway, that's enough uh, enough politics talk for Peter. I'm, I'm doing literally this thing I say I hate, which is talking about issues. And that's boring. Let's talk about something totally, you know, the, something that couldn't possibly cause any controversy. Nazi flak towers and bombing things. It's just good old-fashioned family fun, you know? That's that's what we come here, that's what we come to tape for, you know? He's a, he's a good old-fashioned family fun kind of guy. You know, it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> There's literally no discussion to be had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, alright. The flag term three uh, is two hexagonal towers with a large walkway between them. The walkway is as wide as one of the hexagon sides. Whoa, there's two towers on the flag term? No, there's not. Oh, right, that's the different one. That's not the big circular one, is it? It's like the different, there's like a few, right? At least three, I'm guessing. Um, yeah, I'll just Google Black Term 3. Oh, it's like a fucking fortress. Or is it? Uh, anyway. Um, talk about things. How about Fighter Jet Roundtable? I know, but I know not relevant. Fighter Jet Roundtable. Yeah, I know what that is. Because I... I'm up to date with the community you're talking about. What's well, Fighter Jet Roundtable, man? Yeah. <laughs> I know I masked it incredibly well, but I'm not up to date. I don't know what that is. <laughs> um, is that one of the things in our Discord? Is that the thing Scott Manley was doing? Which was funny because I like saw it and <laughs> I was like, huh, that's kind of like what I used to do. That's funny. That's awesome that he's doing it. And I went in the comments and like. Half the comments were like, tape, tape, you should do this. Why are you, why are you stealing tape's ideas? And it was like, actually, I'm pretty sure Scott Manley did, like, fighting, uh, f like, uh, BD Armory fighter jetty showdown things first, actually, in a live stream. And that's probably where I stole the idea. I don't really remember. Uh, oh, no, I didn't. I just did subscriber designs, and then so many people sent me shit that were fighter jets that I decided to do fighter jet showdown. So it was my idea, although subscriber designs, very unoriginal idea. And I think I directly just took it from someone. Maybe, like, I don't even remember. Probably Bradley Wiston's. Wasn't he doing it at some point? I don't remember. Um, the wings are stubby. You're stubby. <laughs> Get fucked. Um, where tape has Discord? Yeah, wait, tape has Discord. Yeah, I, I do. It's somewhere. Someone will tell you. Yeah, the wings are stubby. But they're fine. They're glorious wings. It also doesn't have engines. I should put engines on it. I'm going to put on those... Just fucking... Ooh, I could put on these engines, but that'd be too far forward. So we're just going to put on these engines. I think just two is fine, because they have, like, unbelievable acceleration. So we're good. All right. And let's put some bombs in the thing. Because bombs are great. <laughs> that, that's a brave opinion. <laughs> All right. Um... We're going to go with Mark 82's. Good old World War II Mark 82 bombs. You know, just standard World War II issue <laughs> Mark 82 500 pound bombs. Um, might want to put the landing gear on the wings in the bo instead of in the bomb bay. Yeah, they get jammed, right? But the wings are too far forward for the center of mass. So, nothing I can do about that. Doesn't matter. This is this is the jank plane. We'll build a nice one later, maybe. Probably not. I usually say things like that, and I'm lying. Um, okay. I'm gonna be kind of devastated if just like one bomb destroys my flag turn, because then it's gonna take so much rework. Um, <laughs> remember when I uh, <laughs> remember when I built a nuclear bomber and called it the Enola Tape? <laughs> that was funny shit. <laughs> that must have been a really old video. Um, I think it was the introduction of um, nuclear bombs into collaborative warfare. I did the end of my team. <laughs> I'm a funny guy. <laughs> you gotta make yourself laugh, you know. Alright. 
Cool, that's probably enough bombs for testing. Um, I'm going to action group the doors, and then we'll uh, get a going. Right, cool. Let's go. Like this. Toggle doors. Toggle doors. Toggle doors. I'm sure I've forgotten something, but we'll find out. Didn't go over the name, we can do that later. Actually, no, I'll do it now. Add a Rhino engine at the back and call it the ME-164. Is that like a fucking rocket engine? I haven't played in a while. Um, it's full of graffiti pictures and the Illuminati and drunken 12 to 25 year olds. Oh yeah, the um, flak terms. So, interesting story about these big flak towers is, firstly, they are covered in graffiti. But um, one of them, I think, was briefly a nightclub. Which sounds fucking cool. I would go to a Nazi flag tower nightclub as long as the people in there weren't actually Nazis. Um, <laughs> but that'd be so cool, like partying in a goddamn flag tower. That'd be awesome. Um, what can we call this? YouTube has changed, so we can't make a Nola tape jokes anymore. That'd be insensitive. So we're gonna call it the uh, B over 9,000. I know that's like really old and lame, but I can't think of a joke right now. And I think they turned one of the um, fucking flat towers into an aquarium, which is cool. The tail looks quite stubby. You look quite stubby. Opinion on KSP too. Don't know, haven't played it. I think it'll be good. It'll be fun. Like, it's more KSP and it's interstellar and it sounds like it's gonna be good. So, yeah. Bets on it flying exactly once. Um... Bro, I'm amazing. So, didn't you see my, um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> didn't you see my 45 engine plane? I know what I'm doing when it comes to propeller planes. You did, uh, I think, oh, where was that one where I flew? Oh, yeah, on my last stream where I uh, flew like that giant car. This looks stupid. The wings are way too stubby. Why didn't you guys say that the wings were too stubby? Or oh, where I saw that giant, like, rover to, um, lay first, first time, you know, it was great. I'm pretty amazing. And I'm very modest about it. Um, don't you love it when your fire alarm in your apartment goes off for no reason, you have to leave because the noise is deafening, and then you think it stops, and it goes back and restarts. Yeah, that kind of stuff is annoying. That's a nice thing about, um, uh, why is the alarm clocks here? Alright, I am gonna go, is my vessel labels off? Yeah. Alright, I'm going to change to Team B, and we're going to go, and um, we're going to arm the trigger, we're going to get our bombs ready, actually I'll get them ready after I've opened the thing, and um, we're going to do some bombing, um, so I think in some places in America, like, your, uh, fire alarm is, like, connected to, like, a network, and it's, like, an actual fire alarm, and it, like, communicates with the, uh, fire department, which means you can't just take the batteries out of it, like you can in, uh, in, <laughs> in most places in Britain, like, most fire alarms in Br Oh my god, that's a lot of bullets! Holy shit! Oh god! Uh, I'll, I'll tell you after about fire alarms. Oh my god, oh god, we're gonna die! Bombs away! Okay. So that went well. Did my bombs go, though? I think maybe a couple of them did. No, no they did not. Wow, this is a great flak tower. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna get through that much gunfire. Um... Yeah, I, I don't know how you deal with that. With a fighter bomber. We're going to do the fighter bomber. Um, anyway, yeah, so in, in Britain you just take the fucking... Uh, you need those square batteries for them as well. And you usually need them for, like, one other thing. So you're like, when you need that battery and you haven't bought any, you're like, ah, I'll just take it out of the fire alarm, I'll put it back in. And then you never do, and then you die in a fire. And that is, uh, yeah, that's what happens in Britain. <clears throat> it's great. It's great. Right, so we want a fighter bomber. I'm not going to build it with these parts. I'm just going to build it with KSP parts. Um, <laughs> thanks, fire spitter. Oh, yeah, so we want a fighter bomber because we need to be sneakier and faster because that gun shreds bombers. So, yeah. Mm. Finish up with that energy drink. I, uh, I'm not, like, the biggest fan of energy drinks, but Monster does this, like, mango thing. It's got... Um, Loads of like those uh, Cinco de Mayo, no, Dio de Muerte, um, like skulls on it, and it's like really good. It's like bright blue, not the drink, the can. And it's, ah, oh, it's like the best energy drink there is. <laughs> um, Alright, cool. Let's, let's put a, 
Let's let's build build let's build a fighter bomber. It'll be great. Perfect. Uh, right, no, that's not the right part. Yeah, it's got to be. Oh no, it needs to be a propeller bomber because it's World War Two. Right, yes. Um, so let's get me an engine. Let's go with this one. I don't want to build one and like start KSP because it takes ages and I can't be bothered. Um, <clears throat> and we have these ones nicely provided by Fire Spitter. So thanks, Fire Spitter. Um, he said sounding sarcastic but was being entirely sincere. Uh, but we kind of don't want it right there because that's too close to the... That's not like how cool fighters look. Let's throw in that. Like that. That's slightly cooler. All right. And let's get some jet fuel. Um, let's chest an ME-262. Isn't that the rocket one? Isn't that a bit much? Um, <laughs> the high altitude bomber, yeah. Maybe do like Stuka-like bombing? Oh, like Stuka-like. Uh, like Stukas. Yeah, yeah, I could do some Stukering. Um, no, I just got a message about the... Uh, from Max about the thing about the fighter jet round table. I will read that later. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to stuker it. We're going to dive bomb it, obviously. Um, one of these days, the alarms are. It's more alarm talk, sorry. Yeah. 163 is a rocket one. Um, okay. This is looking shitty again, so I think we're doing it right. Um, <laughs> and we're going to want some cool wings. Uh, so that we can do some cool bombing, because that's what we want to do. We've got to take down this flak tower, you know. We, 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 we're good old Americans, and we've got to save Europe from the flak towers. Um, yeah, that's yeah, that's looking good. <laughs> so maybe if I do like that and that, it'll look kind of sort of cool. Should have got some. Oh, actually, these might. I mean, if I just scale those down, those might look okay. Yeah, those might look more World War II-y. Yeah. So if I, can I scale them down? That's too small. That's looking about... <laughs> I love how junky this is. I'm just like... You know, I haven't built a lot of aircraft in the last couple of years. <laughs> just awful at it. Um, oh, that's oh, that's more kind of... Yeah, that looks dumb. This looks way better. And I want these just to roll. Yeah, that looks fine. Um, and then we want a tailplane. Why eh, eh. oh, a bit of bomber wing? What? Are these procedural or something? No. Yeah, let's go tailplane. Let's just put it on a random whatever. Um, let's just find a. There's the, there's the thing I'm looking for. That's doubled up. That's not what we want. God damn it. Get in the right place, won't you? And then if you could do that, that'll look sort of not shit, but a bit shit. Yeah, good stuff. Um, jank is part of the game. Exactly. It's uh, that's, that's what you want. You want, a, you want some jank in your KSP. Otherwise, is it really KSP at all? Um... Okay, and then we want that. That'll look cool. And that. Because that'll look cool. And this just wants to yaw. And this just wants to pitch. And that. And these need to move back a bit, which is good, because that'll look better. No, they need to move forward to, like, there. Okay, alright. Um, Maybe these wings don't provide enough lift. Uh... Oh no, trains, just keep going. <laughs> the trains are... <laughs> I thought the, the... The landlord who, like, rendered this out to me really... Un oh yeah, those wings are kind of shitty. Um, the landlord who rendered this out to me really undersold that. It was like, oh yeah, you can barely hear it. And, like, one came past when I was here, so I'm like, okay, I guess I believe you. And <laughs> come on here, and it's like, it's not that bad. It's not, like, right next to the track. But it's noticeable. It's pretty noticeable. Um, <laughs> oh, I hope it doesn't pick up on the mic too much. Um, so although someone just say choo-choo, so <laughs> if you don't summon the Kraken at least once in KSP, then you're really doing it wrong. You are indeed. Um, 
didn't the ME262 have a 50mm cannon? Jesus. i got to look this up. I think I do know what it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the Jedi craft. I thought that was the ME162. Oh, no, that was the... That was someone else. Who fucking knows? All right, oh, yeah. Didn't know that was the designation of their jet aircraft. Um, just get rid of the midsection. You get rid of the midsection. So I don't even know. I don't know what I'm saying. I just like uh, responding with the opposite of what, where, where, with the same thing back to someone, but you do it. <laughs> um, cool. Let's do that, and let's put some wheels on it, and we should be all good. Fuck yeah. Building things. And then we'll put some weapons on it, and then it'll be great. It'll be all ready to kill. It's probably way too heavy, so we're going to drain about half of the fuel in each of these tanks. Which fucks up our lift again. <laughs> God damn it! But we can just... Oh no, we can't solve that point. We need to move this forward. <laughs> ah... Okay, we're gonna put more fuel in the back. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about how it'll be when it's empty. It'll never get empty. We're just gonna put 200 units back here. And it's a bomber, so it, it doesn't need to be really... It's a, it's a strike aircraft. It doesn't need to be super maneuverable, so it's fine. God. <laughs> Man, I have uh, lost some of my finesse at creating fighter aircraft. Um. Oh, I... <laughs> And knowing which button does what. Why won't you fucking leave? God damn it! There we go. That's that's something I just never figured out in Cat's Piece. Which, which button actually does what when you're rotating uh, parts. Oh, and this will call us the... Um, um, we'll call it the Fighter Bomber. Because <laughs> I'm very, very inventive. Uh, Tate, Beardy's requesting if you want to chat... Beardy wants it? What? Huh? What? Huh? Hmm? Is he... I thought he was streaming. Um... I guess we would be streaming at the same time and talking? Can he message me? Yeah, sure? Um... How's that gonna... What? Um... Okay, yeah. Say yeah. Tell him yeah, I guess? Yeah, he's playing Stellaris, and I'm streaming something else. But yeah, we can have a cross-stream. Sure. Um, uh, well, yeah, tell him to message me. Um, yeah. Although I do like uh, communicating through, like, using you, you guys as, like, just messengers. Because we're, like, just so, like, uh, you know, famous and powerful that we don't, you know, we, we don't deliver our own messages, obviously. Because that's what the paws do. Um, um, let's give it some 50s. I know those will be useless against my flat term. But it'll be all good. Lasers. What? Yeah, I know he's trim. Just say, tell him yeah. Um, we're not doing lasers. It's World War II. Read a book. There weren't lasers in World War II. I mean, there, weren't there maybe like a couple of lasers in World War II? Like some really early lasers where they were just like using them as pointers? I don't know. But no. No lasers. Let's see if this is shit. <laughs> okay. There we, we messengers. <laughs> Command. Ah! Oh god! He's ringing me. I haven't got my headphones in. Oh no, let me just plug in my headphones. Hey, hey man. Penguin. How you doing? Hey, yeah, I'm doing all right. I didn't ex well, I didn't realize you were streaming at the same time as me. I think so I saw that you were just saying before I started, but <laughs> <laughs> Well, people said that I was stealing your viewers and I thought, "Oh, well, you started first, so I'm stealing your viewers. And also, we're playing different games. So. We are playing entirely different games, yeah. to be fair, yeah. Uh, what are you doing, anyway? What are you up to? You on KSP? Flak term in KSP, yeah. Why are you... A flak t how does that work exactly in uh, KSP? Please you build, do You build do a tell. big flak tower, and then you bomb it with stuff. 
because I'm I'm a content innovator. You know, I come up with incredible, never done before. Um, it's never been warfare in KSP. This is a novel, yeah. novel idea. Although I did earlier Google um, World War Two KSP planes or something, and the and uh, the first three results were all my videos, and I was like, thanks, bro, very helpful. Hell uh, yeah! You know, I do that sometimes. I just Google like KSP and see how far down I am. For a long uh, time, you... when you did that, I was the first. You were, yeah. Which video was it? It was episode. Um, three of road to colonization for some reason what really because it was ksp uh, i think it was called like growing food so everyone was like oh, oh that was that? it yeah it was mad that video like blew up didn't it i yeah, remember it got, like eighty thousand views or something and then that whole series got really popular it was great it's strange because like it wasn't even the focus of that video right no, it, it was, was like for just... like about 20 seconds and a lot of people <laughs> were mad at that <laughs> Uh, to be fair, a similar thing kind of happened with uh, with my series um, Beyond Kerbal. Oh, yeah. When I went Interstellar, like just the Daedalus engine, like it looks like the KSP two ship, which was intentional on my part. Oh, smart! So people see that, and then they all jumped on the uh, series. So that one video is now like I think seventy thousand views or something. Nice. Um, so yeah, it's had people jump on that. You usually need like one big like episode to make a, a career mode series stand out and then people jump on board and binge watch the whole thing that's what i usually find <clears throat> yeah that's that's i think what happened with a lot of my stuff um and it was great because people would get to that episode three and there was a whole of road to exploration for the watch which was like 40 episodes Whoa. Or something. so <laughs> yeah yeah that was a really long series yeah, I stole the strategy from you um, with, like, halfway through still being in the same save file, changing the series name. I created Beyond <laughs> yep. Kerbal, because just having episode one of a series, mm. people are way more likely to jump in. Oh, yeah, I and think then, if, if, yeah. if it had been episode 48 of Exploration, <laughs> Road to Exploration, Growing Food, then no one would have watched that. <laughs> but, <laughs> ooh, a new yeah, series, yeah. cool, yeah. It's a very useful strategy to scum views. Well, it's not. I'm it's actually... Yeah, it's true. It's just sort of algorithm in a little way. It's a sort of like um, it's a non, like clickbaity, irritating way to sort of game the algorithm. Yeah. I think you know. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. You got to get your stuff game. out there. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, because well, if people you know find the video and they're, they're happy that they watched it, then it's not clickbait. Like it's click worthy. Yeah, essentially. as long as they watch the first ad, who cares? Um, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> well, <laughs> um, but yeah, like. I think as long as you're not putting red circles and oh, completely gosh. irrelevant crap in the <laughs> in the thumbnail, you're all right. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, it's like Linus Tech Tips at some point got way more clickbaity. Not quite that much, but it's a bit like, ah, dude. He gets, obviously, like, they get, like, way more views now, but um, mm. it's just a bit like, ah, that's not as cool. Oh, Yeah, it's kind of like selling your soul, me. isn't it? Yeah. Wait, oh, you can be the armory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Good old uh, thirty millimeter goalkeepers, just like they had in World War Two. Um, oh yeah, naturally. You yeah, didn't yeah. Think you get like Aviator Arsenal or something that actually adds the eight. That hasn't been updated in, since like one point four or something. I was like, wow, oh. it's been a long time. <laughs> uh, we played back in, we played in one point one, then we updated to one point two. I remember it being a big deal because it yeah. had Kerbal Foundries working on that version, and we finally had treads and. Yeah. Oh yeah. Be to give it treads. <laughs> Oh, that's a that's a name I haven't heard in a long time. <laughs> oh god, it's oh god, oh I'm, I'm I'm losing it. Bob's away. Oh, I actually managed to not die. I'm just using my imagination right now. I'm it's pretty great. We missed entirely. Oh. We're going for a kamikaze attack. Hell yes. Oh no, it shot me with its guns. I remember you getting loads of crap in Fall of Kerbin for kamikaze like, all the time. Every time, like, um, a bombing run didn't work, you'd kamikaze, like, yeah, as a last ditch. The, and it, it didn't work, work. I was like, fuck this, I'm destroying this. <laughs> but I remember, like, sometimes it worked. Like, I, I was going to take yeah. one of your bases and, like, a last ditch kamikaze killed my last tank and you got loads of crap for it. Oh, it's no, like, that well, was something slightly worked, different. Though. So I did, I destroyed all of your tanks and then there was the last one. Or maybe it was like halfway through and I did a really low pass bombing run on your tank mm. and it flipped up vertically and I hit it. <laughs> it was amazing. I've watched that recently. It's like one of the coolest shots out of anything ever. Um, <laughs> out of anything ever? Wow, yeah, it was. Yeah, uh, uh, it should have won an Oscar, really. 
Um, oh, damn. <laughs> well, you know what? You win a participation, o Oscar. Oh, oh, crap. I just realized that um, I still have my standby screen up. Someone had to donate <laughs> for me to realize oh, I, I should have do my that. standby screen up. Uh, yeah, I should leave my standby screen up more often, shouldn't I? <laughs> hey, please, standby screen is up. You and Dave and a few others should do a Stellaris multiplayer. Um, yeah, if what do you I've think about Stellaris, that would be... Uh... Yeah, have you, have you never played it? No, I actually have it. I've just, for some reason, never got around to playing it. Um, oh, really? Yeah. Damn. I don't know why, because it's like a Paradox game. And it's space battles. That sounds kind of like. Yeah, I thing. think you would really enjoy it. To be fair. Yeah, no, I'm sure I would. I, I kind of want to mm. play it. I just haven't for some reason. I'm um, trying to figure out how to place a mega shipyard mega structure thing, but I, um, maybe it needs like a specific place to place it. I must have. A, I, I think I had the standby on for like ten minutes while playing the game. To be fair, they didn't really miss anything. It was just me invading planets, but still. Amazing. I feel sad about that. Whoopsie. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, that's a giant fine. engine into my fighter bomber so it's way cooler and faster. Um, Put a rocket <clears> engine <throat> on it. Hey, Professor Rocket Strudel. interceptor. Sorry, say what? Sing. Rocket interceptor, make it happen. No, that's not oh, a great a fighter bomber. It's more of a interceptor. <laughs> to be fair, those I remember those worked like way better than either of us actually thought they would. Oh, they were know. amazing interceptors. Yeah. It's like one of yeah. those things where you're like, this isn't going to work in KSP. But then the mods in the game are like good enough that it actually really worked. And it was... Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was just props to BD Flight AI, wasn't it? Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. It like knew how to fly a rocket interceptor somehow. Yeah, um, it was like burst firing like the rocket engine, saving fuel. Yeah, like, I think it's just because of the max uh, thing. Wow, my new fighter looks real. I've, I've scaled down a, like a Lancaster engine and just put it in the front. <laughs> Is... Flawless. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, smart. It's called vertical integration. Um... Oh, all right, I see. Okay, yeah. <laughs> we were watching tape crash and burn. Yeah, apparently they just nipped over to your <laughs> stream to see what you were up to. Yeah, while yeah. Let's see what you were up to too. <laughs> yeah, just have a little nip over. Hello, hello, tape watchers. Tape watchers. Say hello to me. Raid, yeah, go do a raid or whatever. I think it's called. Um, oh, I remember. Um, I did a really half-assed raid on Matt Lowndes Discord, and it was like twenty of us. And then like they didn't. They it was so pathetic. Like they didn't even ban us. Oh. Like, <laughs> I think a stream raid's like a positive thing. Like at the end of your stream, you're like, hey, go and watch this guy, and then they get loads of viewers. But uh, yeah, I think now, like Twitch has made it like a official feature. Which always makes things lamer. Uh, I mean, uh, Discord raids are actually now against like the terms of service. Like, oh, yeah, we were about yeah. to do it, and then I was like, and then someone like pointed out that it was against the terms of service, and I was like, oh crap! And I like tried to cancel it, and that's why I'm like <laughs> ten people. Things it it was just after the big. Um... Be undone. <laughs> <laughs> it was just that like Matt Lowne sucks thing, you know. Uh, it was yeah, during that's that. It's like a joke so... raid. It's fine. It's not like yeah, yeah. yeah. And someone was just like, like, oh, should we raid their Discord? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, the number of people who thought all oh, that was serious, like... <laughs> really? Like, like, honestly, I don't know how you could have made it any clearer that the whole thing was just a piss take. Yeah, right? and we that, were just having a laugh. pretty insane. Like, that people he made. even came on my Stellaris stream that night, um, <laughs> and we had a little, like, had a little chat about things, and yeah... And then, and then people were like, oh, you know, I hate drama. Like, why can't you guys just get on? And like, <laughs> what? <laughs> like... You should have turned it into like a promotion thing, like pay for us to get along. <laughs> I'm a real money guy now. <laughs> oh, for each, for each dollar donated. One like on equals 1 one forgive. Oh, it shot down my bombs. Lame. Oh, that is lame. I remember we had to make our bombs indestructible because there's no way to stop them targeting. Yeah, because like the basic yeah. AA guns would just destroy all of them. All right, yeah. Kamikaze. Oh, okay, no, not so much. Imagine that World War Two, like actually shooting bombs out of the sky, like <laughs> that kind of energy, That'd like be some geez, pretty, uh, pretty intense stuff. Um, actually, it wouldn't be intense. It would be, uh, be hey. in war. Hey. Way. Oh, Way. A, hey. Really reached for that one. <laughs> <laughs> Reach for the stars. More bombs. I was just going to say that uh, Dorf Bond Golf. We do need more bombs. 
Well, it's a solution to every problem, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Could solve, we, could, we could technically solve coronavirus with more bombs. <laughs> <laughs> Can't catch coronavirus if you're dead. No. I was saying earlier on the stream, I was in Trafalgar Square today, and I was really surprised because I actually saw like a big like anti-mask protest. Were they all not wearing masks? Yeah, no, they weren't. There was just like all these people in Trafalgar Square, like holding up signs, talking about how they weren't going to wear masks and not wearing masks. And that I was mean, like Darwin will have his way with them pretty soon, won't he? Like... <laughs> yeah. No, that's the great thing is because they were all grouped together without their masks, and it, the problem resolves itself. <laughs> yeah, I guess in a way, it's still kind of mildly upsetting though. Isn't oh yeah, it? Like, and then I was sitting in a coffee shop, yeah. and like a bunch of them came and sat right near me. I was like, oh no. Oh no no no. Yeah. You keep your anti-mask beliefs to yourself. <laughs> Why do people have such a problem with it? Like honestly, they're bored. How hard is it to wear a goddamn mask? They're like, ah, my civil liberty. It's like it's a mask. Yeah. Man. Also, like the people who are like, I can't breathe in a mask. It's like. If you can't breathe wearing a mask, don't You're go gonna outside when you during get corona, a global right? pandemic where there's a respiratory disease. Like, oh, yeah. I actually had it, and it was it was shitty. Oh, I had it as well. Oh, High yeah. five. Hmm. Yeah, it was real bad. It's Wait, so like the way I caught it, right? It was um, it was a week before the week before, like they banned large gatherings. Lockdown hmm. hadn't even been suggested yet. Um, so it was a week before they banned large gatherings, and so it was the end of term at uni, and we were like, hey, let's just have an end of term party, right? Right before yeah. they ban last, you know, before we can't have any more parties, we'll have a big party, big send-off thing before, you know, we can't have any big parties for a while. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> uh, so the worst that could happen is that half the people that go all get corona. Oh, uh, wow. And get seriously ill, uh, it turns out. So the thing is, like, at that point, like, it hadn't really hit the UK, and no, no. everyone was downplaying it. Like, the only yeah, media you could get anything. was, you know, people are panicking, stop panicking, it's not as bad as, you know, it's not the end of the world, stop panicking, and, yeah. you know, hoarding shit, right? That was the only media you could get. So I was like, oh, it's just being blown way out of proportion. It's not that big a yeah, deal. Yeah, it would be like swine flu or something, where it's like not really a problem. Yeah, yeah. I had swine flu back in the day as well. Really? Jesus Christ. Yeah, I've had both of them. I catch everything, yeah. and I've broken like half the bones in my body and had general anesthetics six times. Jesus, really? I've never yeah. even been into hospital. I'm like basically either indestructible what? or just never leave the house. Have you, have you never been into hospital? Um, I think I did once when I was no, I, uh, once when I was a kid, I had like something where they had to call an ambulance, but I didn't go to hospital. I don't know. I just kind of I'm lucky. I don't break stuff, and that's not because I don't do dumb shit um, either. I'm just uh, just lucky. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Like, I don't think of myself as a you know, that stupid a person, but... <laughs> no, it's not, like, it's not like a stupidity thing. It's just like if you're doing interesting things, you might hurt yourself, but... Uh... Yeah, I guess. So. Well, <laughs> I managed to break my spine jumping on a trampoline, so... Oh, the spine? You know. Jesus. Yeah, I got a compression fracture of a disc uh, of my spine because um, I was jumping on a trampoline with someone else and they jumped and so the trampoline went up and i hit it slightly Ooh, earlier than i yeah. thought and my legs weren't bent and so my spine bent instead god yeah um, it's like things so, like that where you're just like god the human body is just so, so weak <laughs> yeah how are we here no i've like broken a toe a couple of times but i've yeah i've never even really broken anything i don't know why cray yeah just uh you know not a not a soft city boy you know a big tough country man. <laughs> you made it made of sterner stuff. I am made of sterner stuff, and I am from Merrifordshire as well. So. You are. <laughs> you are. I grew up on a farm. <laughs> like I, I, I don't really? sound like a Herefordshire farm, but um. You really don't. Yeah. No. I've uh, oh. a weird or oh, that weird kind of Gen Z American mixed with oh god I sound American try and sound more British but I just have to yeah pay. a lot of people think you're American don't they yeah it's because my, my accent was and still kind of is really American I think now it's just kind of nondescript um, yeah like it's yeah. just a weird accent but for a while I just sounded really American well, I think I still sound enough like a posh boy that people don't think I'm American well some people still do though yeah well, I enough. think that's it like people kind of in our generation like you kind of just pick up so many American sayings that you just sound a bit American like yeah yeah and I have a really um like I just pick up uh like mannerisms and things so like 
I I actually I do it for people from other cultures as well. So like I picked up I was it was this um, one of my friends is Brazilian and I picked up a few of his mannerisms. I'm like probably sounds really weird. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there are so many British sayings that are just without compare, though, right? Oh, yeah. Like, you've got things like, you know, you're taking the piss. Oh, I, like, my family's from Birmingham, right? Even though I grew up in London, so I know loads of Birmingham sayings and things. Those are Brome sayings. Oh, yeah. Um, Ooh, and there are okay. loads of them. Like, we've got Birmingham handshake, which is a headbutt. Yeah. You've got Birmingham briefcase, plastic bag, yeah. corporation pop. You know, water. Uh, yes. <laughs> <Tap water. laughs> I, I actually yeah. lived. I, I like half lived in Birmingham for a year last year, so I. Uh, oh yeah. I, I am familiar with a lot of the slang. I mean, that means you've <laughs> lived in Birmingham longer than I've lived in. Birmingham. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, and I like that British English is also really contextual. Like any word can mean drunk. Like. Oh yes, I was literally. Like, just. I was fucking lamp posted last night. Is like you probably means drunk. Oh yeah, but you, it's just context. You can literally yeah. say anything that nobody's ever used to mean drunk before, mm. and it will mean drunk. Yeah. And also, Stellaris is bugging the hell out and like giving me thousands and thousands of the same event over and over. Uh, it's a little bit weird. Hopefully, completing it will. I'm just gonna stop I'm this. Just gonna going bomb on. this without it firing back. I want to see what bombs do to it. Wow, that missed <laughs> by a country mile. Which is well, since you live in the country, you're actually capable of making that distinction. I know. It? Yeah, I know. It's something you learn. You know, it's not like one of those weak city miles. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what have you been up to anyway? What have you been keeping keeping busy with stuff and. Yeah. Well, just kind of. Finishing up with the uh, coronavirus. Um, well, not finishing up, but you know, like the lockdowns have eased a bit. I actually moved. Um, oh right, so that's yeah. Taking up a lot of my time. Um, mm. There we go. Bombs away. Um, yeah, working. Oop! Hell, that. That's gone. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, we're kind of working a lot. Um, I've been sort of working back at my office, which is nice because it kind of gets tiring working from home all the time. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what about you? What have you been up to? Um, well, I went down to Southampton. Um, well, apparently the fences... In the, wait, sorry. The, 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 apparently, I'm fighting this, like, giant ancient fortress and it's just powered itself back up again. But I have, a, like, a ridiculous fleet right next to it which just immediately <laughs> blew it up again. So it's just a little anticlimactic. Ah. Anyway, um, yeah, I, I went down to Southampton for a little bit. Saw some of my housemates and things. Nice. Um, I've got uni starting again beginning of October. Oh, shit, I mean, right, even the yeah. uni still doesn't entirely know what's going to happen, but they're committed to having as much as possible mm. be on campus. Yeah, that's um, good. Like, uni's so much more fun on campus than... Yeah, yeah. Honestly, it happened at, like, the best possible time it could have, because, yeah. like, I've already had my first year, and so I'm going into my third year, right? And I've, I've, it's a four-year course, so I'm not oh, going to miss my graduation, and I didn't miss my freshers year. Yes, so, yeah. really, true. like, of all the years it could happen, it's the best year it yeah. could happen. I'm not really missing out on much. Like, yeah, this year... three like, years at uni, that's, like, what most people get, so... Yeah, exactly. Like, I already had the first two years to just go oh, insane I and clubbing. I just flew, flew my plane through the tiny little, uh... You know, like the tiny bridge next oh, to the Oh, did you manage it? Did it get through? Well, it got through and then crashed, but pretty much. <laughs> anyway, my flak tower is uh, not very bomb resistant when it's not shooting back, so I might make it bigger. Anyway, carry on. Sorry. I, I'd pretty much finished talking. I'm just <laughs> focusing on my, on my war. The problem with... Um... Jesus Christ. Okay, in Stellaris, like... So you have, if you don't give your robots, if you build robots and you don't give them rights and you keep upgrading their intelligence, eventually you have like robotic uprisings, right? Mm. So I've just crushed a robotic uprising in one of my allies' things. And then one of the nations I'm fighting, I'm at war with them. They've just suddenly had a robotic uprising. This is like a year later. God, and like gotta, everyone is having robotic uprisings. But since they're robots. in my enemies, like they're technically... I think I can maybe... Am I at war with them or... Uh, apparently, I'm just by default. I'm at war with them, which is a little annoying. Yeah. Oh well. Alas. 
But yeah, the problem with Solaris um, is like when you get to the end game, it gets really, really rough on the um, micromanaging, oh, right? right yeah. Like, yeah, I don't know. Like that's well, I feel like the end game of a lot of strategy games, especially, um, especially, especially Paradox games, they're just they're just always a little bit. There's just too much going on and it's not as fun, like Hearts of Iron kind of at the end. It's just like, oh, well, everyone has yeah. a million divisions and 80,000 planes. and It's always the early game that's, that's fun. Yeah, that's like my favorite challenge. part of Hearts of Iron is before the war, where I, like, prepare <laughs> my navy and do all my stuff. Then it's like, eh, yeah, whatever. Yeah, uh, I'm yeah. building a bigger flak term around my flak term, and I'm going to call that layered armor. <laughs> To be fair, you know, layered armor proved itself relatively effective in Fall of Kerbin. Yep. Yeah. Um, well, spaced armor, I guess this is. But yeah, the layered armor that I used on my old centaurs. They were really, yeah, great. Um, I think I'm not going to decorate this one. I'm just going to have a big metal tower with guns on it. I think that's probably fine. And it's going to have more guns. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, this this fortress thing has just completely bugged out. I've even completed one of the um I've completed like it keeps spa like it keeps spamming the event and it's like, "Hey, send a demolitions team in or send a demolitions team in." Do it. And I finally sent one in, but since it spammed it, it wants me to send the demolitions team in like 30 times. Oh. Um it just keeps bugging. I see. Uh, it's very, very strange. Have a little look at my... I'm going to have a little look at the situation log and see. Yeah, the next decade, 244. I do kind of agree that quarantine hasn't been the worst thing for people like me. Who, um, you know, when people are like, what am I going to do in my house all the time? I'm like, oh, I'm going to get so many games played. <laughs> so much code <laughs> written. <laughs> oh like... yeah, I, the number of people. I it, I, I don't want to. No, I'm gonna say it's mainly like my f like female friends who, frankly, like their only hobby is having brunch with people, and I think and everyone it... knows at least one person who's like that. Yeah, there there are people who's like and and not to generalize, but yeah, not to women. generalize, but. Um, there are people uh, the, <laughs> like that. Yeah, um, you know, a lot of their more of their kind of the stuff they do is socializing and like, yeah, you know. So when they can't, people who aren't introverts like sucks. us, like. <laughs> yeah, like being an introvert, it's like, oh, thank God, finally. And it's kind of <laughs> what my favorite part of it is maybe not so much the quarantine because I do like going outside and seeing people. But one of my favorite parts is people just stay the fuck away from you and don't really interact with you at all. It's public. a dream come true. I know, it's just like, oh, can we just keep this? And like, you know? Yeah. Oh, okay. Now that now I've moved my fleet away from it, this this thing seems to have unbugged. <laughs> the way team find their way blocked by a massive bulkhead. The team report there is a recessed alcove to the right, housing a pedestal on a contraption wrought in the same... Oh, this is such a long event. Same black metal as the fortress itself. The device is key to opening the bulkhead. The leader of the explorers describes it as three upright poles spaced equidistant across the top of the pedestal with three rings. Uh... There's just four random options. <clears throat> Tape, give me a number from one to four. Three. Three. Rearrange the metal tori on the poles. Don't know what that means, but I pressed it. Sounds good. A moment of silence followed, then vague scraping noises as the team attempted to take out, carry out their plan. A splashing sound so loud that at first you think the team had been swatted like small insects, and followed by cheers as they report a passage has been opened. It's been transformed into... Okay, the bulkhead's been transformed into an unpleasant smelling liquid. This is detailed. And you feel the team has been victims of an elaborate prank set up millennia ago. <laughs> nice, what? you got prank, bro. I got pranked, apparently. Pranked, bro. Um, I don't even know A lot of people in my anymore. chat are, are really hard agreeing that they don't like socializing. It wasn't quite what I was saying, but... Um... <laughs> and I finally crushed this machine empire, this machine uprising. Thank Good. God, okay. Humans forever. Well, to be fair, I'm actually... I, I play, started playing as um, some penguins, right? You can ah. play as... I'm playing as some penguins. I play as the yeah, penguin I have empire. seen that, actually. <laughs> 
Yeah, uh, and then I made them very materialist. I built loads of robots, and then I eventually ascended into robots. So I uploaded their consciousnesses into uh, <laughs> into robotic bodies, and then I forcefully assimilated them all into robotic penguins. And then every single like empire I vassalized or conquered, or even like I've got migration treaties with people. Anyone who like migrates into my empire gets forcefully assimilated into a robotic Jesus. body. <laughs> And it's like, why would anyone ever move here? But people <laughs> move into my empire of their own volition. It's well, really it's weird. full price to pay for, you know, penguin freedom. Oh, God. It's true. Oh, we're true. crashing. Oh, Bob's away. Okay. I think one of them might hit. God, I put like eight uh, goalkeepers on it. And that is a lot of gunfire. No. Ah. Uh. Okay, I might go for some higher altitude bombing. We can keep the current situation if we exterminate all extra birds. That would involve going outside, so no thank you. Did I lose Penguin? No, I'm still uh, here. I'm just focusing. Uh, uh, I'm just reading this thing. Um, this fortress keeps reactivating itself. Apparently, if I fired a torpedo into its core, it would stop it reactivating. Uh, that sounds like a good idea. Blood sure. Blood Let's do that. I just need to put a military ship in orbit, and then hopefully it'll... What the hell? My science ship got blown up! Sounds like it's going no! Penguin land. <laughs> Loudon just died. He's in the chat. <laughs> uh, uh, I named my son... Oh, bollocks. Uh, oh, he was... He... <laughs> Because I, since I made them all robots, they're all immortal. He's been alive for two hundred years, and he just died. Jesus. Bollocks. Uh, I wasn't looking. The fortress reactivated itself again. Uh. I hate this event thing. I might just leave it. This is just a horrible, horrible, random thing, and is I hate it. Like it. a, like a bit of a like an RPG have to go through or something. Well, it's just an event chain. There are like little event chains, yeah, and right. it's just really bugged. Like, mm. it's really badly bugged. Um, yeah. Our people are screeching that if they're putting Fs, they're putting Fs in the chat for Loudon. F in chat for Loudon, everybody. Apparently, Frankenstein is uh, streaming Ooh, both at the same time on two different screens, and there's a three second delay between one of each of our streams. Oh, that's got to be upsetting. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> that would. Uh... Yeah. My home internet isn't that great. My uni internet's amazing. My home internet isn't great. So it's, I'm probably behind yours, yeah, to be honest. Yeah, mine's pretty good here. Um, it's fairly new, though, so it's like still figuring out its speeds. Yeah, like yeah. Call and yell at them to make them make it faster. Autopiloted squadron. That could be a good idea, Lewis Button. Although I can just never ever seem to get the autopilot to not be a total asshole. Um, <laughs> One way of putting it. Yeah, it's just just none of the autopilot systems like me. Like I remember in Full of Curve, and you'd have your like columns of tanks beautifully like rolling down the streets and like your planes would automatically bomb my ships and whenever I tried that everything would just like explode into madness. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it usually uh, it usually took multiple attempts to be fair. Yeah. Like yeah. to get those things to like was in like I'd have to test it like to hell and it was only like certain conditions so sometimes I'd have to like drain all the ammo yeah, and Yeah, yeah, you got to like really you know, oh, see, it was that's... a real pain in the ass. I didn't I never like put in quite that much effort into the kind of testing um yeah although i do occasionally watch back and just look at my naval strategy and be like ah oh, just get some screen ships just to <laughs> stop his torpedo bombers 
Right, I'm gonna shoot a torpedo into the core of this damn thing. Maybe that will finally kill it. Fuck yeah, roll those dice. Come on, torpedo! Kill the damn thing! Oh, yes! Woo! <laughs> finally! In a feat of unprecedented bravery and precision, a pilot fired a torpedo into the heart of the fortress. The plan must be hailed as a great success. The fortress will never be powered again. The entire structure exploded irreversibly, destroying any trace of ancient technology in it, as well as everything else in the, everything else in the system. Archaeologists have dubbed it the most expensive fireworks show ever funded <laughs> by the Penguinaut government. <laughs> yeah. Wait, the entire solar system burns? What? <laughs> oh no! What? Did My you... whole fleet! <laughs> <laughs> no! And you're live streaming it, so you can't just load a save. I put it on Iron Man as well. Uh -huh, hey. Oh, for the whole solar system just got blown up. What? That's, the what, fuck? that's what you get. Spe oh, now Space Explorer. Okay, Loudon died, and now Space Explorer died. At the well, how old was he? Does it say how old Space Explorer died? No. He must have been over 200 years old as well. God damn it! Well, ah! well this is embarrassing, isn't it? <laughs> um. I think it'll just Sorry, I screamed down. quite loud there. <laughs> ah, that's alright. Um, let's do some bombs. Okay. Hopefully it won't shoot them all down. See, this is the problem with playing Stellaris, like, having not done all the events before. Like, you know, a lot of people know how many of them end. Yeah. Um, and I obviously do not. Um, and I've just paid the price for that very dearly. <laughs> <laughs> Don't shoot all my bombs. Christ. It's all right. I've got loads of like random amberols oh, lying actually around. Almost hit it. Oh god, it's shooting my bomb. Hey, oh god. Wait, tape. You want to be an admiral? Yeah, I'll be an admiral. I'm a, you can be my new admiral. I'm very qualified. You're somehow you're a robot, but you're psychic. I don't know how that works. You're also a scout and a trickster. Wait, wait, you the this leader Brandy fights ship. deviously. Apparently. I, I am a pretty devious fighter. <laughs> yep. Yep, that seems good enough. What do you want your fleet to be called? Um, the... Oh, fuck, okay. Alright, it's got to obviously spell out tape. Uh, <laughs> the... The Armada... Patrol... Uh, patrol... Oh, the, um... Exterminatus. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. Perfect. The Armada Patrol <laughs> Exterminatus. <laughs> Done. Beautiful. There we are. Beautiful. Oh, Flawless. well, my plane's still flying somehow. Curious. Probably merits a follow-up. Thing is, like, I just have, I have, like, almost max resources, right? I can't build capacity faster than my resources get built. So, like, I'm almost glad to have, um... Magic plane! I'm almost glad just to have something to pour like yeah. resources into <laughs> if that makes any sense yeah no that makes sense when you get to like end game where you're basically all powerful well i must yeah. say this flak term is quite the uh it's pretty good build a v2 that's not a bad <laughs> idea a rocket plane that just like slams through it like um star wars style where they w w light warp through the that was a cool scene, you know, in like Star Wars 9008 or whatever it is, where Kylo Ren. Ah, uh, like... you mean <laughs> you mean eight? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so no, Star I mean, Wars. I mean, it kind of breaks Star Wars a little bit. I know, but... where he's like, "What if there isn't such a thing as good or bad?" And I was like, "There's a fucking light side and dark side. You can't <laughs> change that now, you stupid yeah. bastard." The whole point about Star Wars is it has binary. Morality, yeah, it's just like a simple stuff, like... story about good and evil. Stick to it. And then, like, Nine had to try and make it up, and it was just, like, oh, every five seconds, good. it was like, there's a new thing, and a new thing, and, ugh, it was not Yeah, great. I wasn't a fan of Nine. No. Really. I, yeah, like, at I... least Eight tried to do something, but... Yeah, like, when I, first coming out of Eight, I was like, ah, oh, it was actually kind of... That wasn't too bad. That was that was an interesting. I respected what it tried to do, you yeah. know, like it tried to do something new, and then nine just, just, just nothing. Shat it, the was bed. Just... it was fucking terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Although at least there were some new lines from uh, the emperor, you know, very memeable oh, lines from him. <laughs> yeah. It was just, I just so obviously 
they revealed it in a trailer because they were like, we need people to watch this. But when I like saw it in the film, I was like, no, that's just too, that's too shit. <laughs> Yeah, and when it was like, they didn't even uh, explain it, and the fact that Ray is just like his daughter, it's like, how small is this universe? Like, <laughs> I liked it when they were like, she's nobody, you know, she, you yeah, don't have like, to be like the descendant of yeah. someone to be important in this universe, and they're like, ah, no, nah, never mind. Psych. <laughs> the weird thing is, like, that means Palp has got down at some point. <laughs> yeah, right. right? That, that's and, like that's... recently, like when he was <laughs> old. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's uh, it's not a post lightning thought, is like. <laughs> yeah, pretty, pretty dark. Upsetting. Very upsetting, actually. Yeah, it's not great. And I was so hoping that like Snoke would just be Darth Plagueis, and it would be like, oh, that's what the Emperor's talking about in the prequels about how that guy figured it out and he he can you know cure death and oh it all makes sense and it's perfectly wrapped together and then just some asshole was like nah it's palpatine bro hey <laughs> hey like, oh like, yeah, really no originality him. fuck me yeah <laughs> <laughs> should have made him play i guess that's a big missed opportunity yeah, and also you... like you know i saw something which i thought was really interesting like a way i i quite like the force awakens right but that something that would one. basically that would really like do a lot for the sequel trilogy um because you know a big complaint of force awakens was it's a, you know, a retread of of a new hope in a yeah. lot of ways but a, for a lot of the problems would have been fixed if like in force awakens they actually failed to blow up star killer yeah because then that would make episode eight. Because like the the first order is supposed to be like tiny, right? And they like just took over the whole galaxy. Like what? Yeah, it was like, like the Empire defeated. Nope. If Starkiller like hadn't been blown up, you know, it makes sense that the whole galaxy would then surrender. If you can just have any system in the galaxy get blown up like, yeah. instantly, you're all gonna be like, well, shit. Um, and it would make it more like a dark sort of like reflection of a new hope rather than just a retread. I yeah, think that was like a really a more interesting modern idea. kind of story because Star Wars was really campy. If you actually watch Star Wars: The New Hope, it's a super <laughs> campy film and it's great. But it's like, great, right? But it's not like the super serious thing. But if you're gonna go serious, you might as well actually go serious. Yeah. And not then have like random quips and crap. <laughs> yeah. But like, oh, the quipping in episode eight was bad. Yeah, I didn't oh, like the quip. Jesus, there was some. Not a fan. And the whole like episode nine thing where um, Finn was constantly like, "I need to tell you something, Ray," and then they just never said it. And apparently, he was gonna say, "Oh, I'm force sensitive." It's like, that's not like a. You were Is clearly gonna say you loved her. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, like, I love. But, uh, but no, it's like, oh, by the way, I have some force powers. That's like a, you could just say that over dinner. Like, oh, yeah, I found that out. And it's like, oh, that's cool. I could, uh... oh, I called it, oh, damn, I misnamed this. Yeah. Oh, my God, tape your back. I am Svenska. I've been back for a while, but I took a month off. Um, well, I just haven't streamed in a month because I'm not really doing regular stuff anymore. Just I mean, occasional stuff. I guess I sort of have myself to pat on the back for dragging you out of retirement <laughs> yeah it was a good way to come back before i was like i would occasionally think about it but there was no like way to... no incentive really yeah there was no like and then also just like being like hey i'm back would have been weird but uh mm -hmm. yeah, yeah um i get that like i think it takes becoming a youtuber to understand why anyone would ever like just sometimes just walk away from it you know yeah um because sometimes yeah like it's just it's like if you what if you things happen you haven't done it for a while mm. then just getting back into it is like a lot of energy yeah it's which... just kind of yeah like and, and just like coming back to you know after like a year or two it's... yeah and the longer you leave it like the higher people's expectations get and then you just you just feel like you can't live up to it you know yeah no that's why i'm back just casually did a couple vr videos you know stuff like that yeah that's all you really need to be doing, really. You know, at the end of the day, just a nice little hobby. Yeah, exactly. Doing it for and a that's living. what it should, you know, because, like, in uni it became not like a proper job, but, like, that was a big component of it. Like, it yeah, was yeah. Part time job, so. And that makes it less fun. Um, and I think also, yeah. like, just the focus. Well, obviously, I played a lot of games, but, like, the heavy focus on KSP does get, like, 
There's only so yeah. much KSP you can play. And like... <laughs> well, it depends how many different ways you keep inventing to play it. Yeah, um, I might and... be starting a new series soon. I haven't oh, yeah. teased it yet, um, but here's a little reveal for people watching the stream. Ooh, tape exclusive. I don't know if I told you about it. Uh, you know, you remember our old um, Space Race series? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you did mention it, yeah. But I think I did mention it, yeah. Uh, well, anyway, I'm going to essentially be doing that with a, there's a guy called i found a guy for it now mm. uh it's called n9 gaming he's really cool he's an american guy yeah. he does uh realism overhaul i was gonna do it with like with someone who hadn't done realism overhaul before so it yeah. was fair but having now like honestly just just to get the install set up i am mm. so glad i got someone who has a lot of experience yeah, with it fucking <laughs> mom and a half. like yeah you definitely want someone who knows what they're doing yeah we're even using <clears throat> principia you know the mod which adds end body gravity oh shit really yeah, yeah, we're going all in. Slowly fuck up the planets. Well, I guess it wouldn't uh, otherwise. No, because it's realism. It's it's the real positions of the planets. Uh, Apparently, yeah. if you use the default stock system within like a month, all the moons moons of Jewel will get <laughs> flung out <laughs> into yeah. deep space. But, but like, there's a rebalanced Kerbal system for Principia, which is actually stable. Oh uh, right, cool. One of my um, <clears throat> university projects was writing like a small like end body simulator. Um, and that was like the most interesting thing is you could barely ever find a stable configuration but mm. what was interesting is because obviously if you just implement all the um, all the physics correctly na things will happen naturally so like some of the smaller bodies which were originally planets would become moons of some of the oh. larger bodies it was really cool that is really cool yeah, yeah. I'm having to. I'm going to start learning about patch connex and things in the next Ooh. year of my course. I I'm, should have you know, done that actually, before yeah. I did it because I just basically figured it out myself. <laughs> I mean, that's probably more impressive to be honest. But uh... yeah, and more hacky. But like, yeah, it was pretty cool. Oh god! Oh, I had my rocket wing shot off. God, these oh, guns. Oh no! Not the rocket wings. <laughs> I need to be going faster. God, it's so imposing go this tower. Yeah, Sonic could do this. I'm sure he could. All right, I think I've I've occupied almost. He keeps saying I'm demanding unoccupied systems. There's probably like one system somewhere that I've missed that I'm not occupying. Um, but I can't find it. Oh, here we go. Partly occupied. Why is this partly occupied? Oh crap! It's, duh, I missed a system. I missed a system. God damn it. <laughs> Either that or they reconquered it, which is more likely, to be honest. Ah. Yeah, Ryuki, it is a lot of work <sighs> if you're doing everything yourself and, like, editing and stuff. But I think the editing wasn't ever really, like, the massive thing. Like, I often found that kind of relaxing was more sort of the... I don't know, constantly coming up with ideas was the hardest thing for me, actually. Because, like... For Kerbal? Well, just for everything. Like, after you've made, like, yeah. a thousand videos, it's kind of... <laughs> you know? You just kind of yeah. run out of like stories and shit and <laughs> you just mm. don't have that much to talk about yeah all right gonna go i don't know i've always been an ideas guy yeah so yeah if you got that then you then you're fine got a very active imagination Often to my detriment, it stops me sleeping at night sometimes. Oh, yeah, no, I haven't really slept in about 12 years. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, it's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not quite that bad. But, yeah, like, yeah. Or, or just, like, drifting off constantly, like in meetings at work. If it doesn't directly mm. involve me, <laughs> after about five minutes, I'm thinking about cowboys. Like... <laughs> And there's someone Is it me, always but... cowboys? Because you might want to... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my kink. Um, no, uh, it's, it's just oh, whatever. Wish. But um... <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, then someone will ask you a question you're like, I, I wasn't listening, sorry. Yeah. Which goes I have a big problem with zoning out in lectures. Um, oh, yeah. I have to write lectures. notes. If I don't write notes, I, I zone yeah. out. I have to write notes to keep me focused on what's happening. Um, I just <clears> didn't either, but it was computer science. It was pretty <laughs> Fair enough. Boom! Nailed yeah. it. Oh, rocket bro. science is. Um, I hate to say it. Rocket science is a, is a little bit more complicated. Yeah. Oh wow, that's cool. Fucking rocketed. That's a cool shot. Like the armor's crumpled. I forgot to turn guard mode on, but there's a hole in the outer armor, 
and then the inner arm is like not destroyed but like crumpled and pieces are falling down oh that Shit, is that's cool, cool. <laughs> and the inside is fine all right let's try that again with um with guard mode on Yeah, I could use Millennium Cannon's Aryugi, but um, I might try that after, actually. Have real flak going off, that'd be more fun. But yeah, I was terrible at listening in lectures. Like, <laughs> and like initially I was obviously like, you know, I was like, I really want to listen in lectures and learn things, but then yeah. by third year... <laughs> Like yeah. one course, I basically just like. I think I actually have some kind of attention deficit disorder because I basically remembered nothing and then just had to like figure out how to do machine learning. <laughs> but surely, like, there aren't that many contact towers in computer science, are there? Or, or are there lots? Uh, there, there's quite a lot uh, because there's loads of different modules um, for different kinds of things, and especially in third year. Oh well, uh, the th problem in third year is we we um, had. Uh, like all of our modules in one term so that we could have two terms to do nothing but our dissertations. Um, oh, right, okay. So that was yeah. quite dense. But I think, yeah, I don't think there's loads of contact hours, but uh, I can't remember exactly. It was a while ago. But, you know, they were most days I was in. Oh, God, this is the worst. It is not stable at all. Um, well, that's a mood. Oh, let's go, Speedy. Billy Penguin is here. Yes, uh, kind of. He's on his own stream. Billy is sort of here. Yeah. We're we're, you know, sort of streaming together, kind of, but not really. <laughs> kind things. of. Well, we realized we were streaming at the same time, so we decided to have a chat. Yeah. Basically. All right. I am speed. I'm gonna miss. Oh fuck! I'm gonna miss. Oh, I'm gonna hit. Oh, I got shot. <laughs> <laughs> well, an attempt was made. It was indeed. Now my part of my rocket plane is just flying around the space center. Beautiful. Oh, is it gonna land? Oh, no, it crashed. All right, let's try that again. Someone's just posting bread in my chat. Oh, right. So there's a bit of a meme. Oh, Breddy Penguin. Breddy, yeah. So yeah. someone... Well, I mean, it's a common misspelling, but someone just put it in my Discord. Uh, like, just said, oh, Breddy Penguin. And then it just took off as a meme. <laughs> and I started having, like, my face... Well, you know, my avatar's face, yeah. like, photoshopped onto bread and all sorts. You know, the usual stuff. Um, so then I made a, uh, I made an emoji, which is a loaf of bread with, you know, Beardy's like face on and stuff um and yeah it's it's got a little out of hand there's like a cult and stuff on my discord oh, it's always good when yeah. you started a cult that's how you know you really made it <laughs> yep yep you know you've made it when there's a cult dedicated to uh, a loaf of bread to the bread version of you yeah that is <laughs> yeah it's bready penguin there's also bricky which is a lego version <laughs> um which is also an emoji on my discord so, yeah. Uh, don't honestly, like, I'm kind of glad. I'm, I'm quite glad to have someone to uh, chat to on this stream because, yeah. like, as I said, Stellaris at this point is just micromanagement <laughs> hell. I'm yeah. honestly, I've been in this war for so long, I'm honestly just considering just white piecing out because I can't figure out, like, the last planet I have to take to end it and I just can't be asked with it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it turns out um, bombing a flak tower wasn't a very uh, broad idea, so it is good to have someone to talk to. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do now, then? Um, well, I want to keep trying this a little bit, but then I don't know. I just, I've been streaming for uh, about an hour and a half, so I don't know. Ooh, I got a super chat um, with a weird dancing bean. That says thanks for the being you. Beam. Thanks, Lightning. Shit, what's the full name? Oh, was that Lightning Gamer? Yeah, I think so. Hey, oh, he donates on my streams. He's a cool show guy. Me the full thing, but thanks for the twenty dollars, man. Thanks, bro. That's uh, that's uh, that's good shit. <laughs> <laughs>
That's the good shit right there. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's why we do it, you know? That's what makes the real difference. Um. <laughs> the money. <laughs> no. Uh, I said that sarcastically on a Matt Lown stream, and then that was where he took out of <laughs> context in his uh, Bearded Penguin cancelled video. Nice. I liked his cancelled video. It was pretty good. It was... Oh my god. It was on all the diving equipment. <laughs> <laughs> Doing a deep McGoggle. dive. He had three pairs of goggles on top of each yeah. other. It was yeah, you something got, else. Yeah. I just got an achievement, Citadel of Death. I own a Citadel with 40k fleet power. Okay, I don't know why I built that. But For apparently I built death it and glory. Oh god. Indeed! Ride to ruin? Yes! No! Some of my debris hit it. <laughs> I like, had a wing shot <laughs> Victory. off, but we're still going. Um... And with one wing on, but then it shot me some more. Okay, so I don't think uh, I don't think we're getting through this. I'm gonna try it with the uh, flat cannons. See how that's different. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, you wish you had money, Dan Ellis. Become a YouTuber. It's the worst way to make money. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Yeah. <laughs> no, become a software engineer. It is. A really good way to make money, it turns out. I was gonna say, yeah, isn't that like, like, pretty pretty reasonable way to? One of the higher paid professions, yeah. Yeah. It's pretty nice. Um, yeah. And now I work at a cool startup. Well, a startup, but that makes it cool because it's like a startup, which is like real cool. So I'm a proper tech bro. Ooh. <laughs> oh yeah, Mind Maker. I did use Flak. It wasn't technically your suggestion, but you can have the glory. Um, but yeah, now it's actually a Flak tower, not a bullet tower. Oh, did you even have Flak cannons on it? No, I yeah, I wanted to use the goalkeepers, but that's not as cool as actual Flak. Oh. I'll say something about that. Germans just stormed the Reichstag. Oh yeah, they're doing a way cooler anti-mask rally. Well, not cooler, but like big. Wait, they just stormed the Reichstag. What? That's that's. Oh, this isn't. This ain't good, man. It's not great when they storm the Reichstag. Oh, I've got a newt. Hello, Cohen. I can also give monies. Thank you, Cohen. This is nice and generous. Hey, Cohen, you. how you doing, man? <laughs> Tape says hello to you as well. You got two for the price of one on this stream. Yeah. Two two people say your name if you donate to one of us. <laughs> yeah, that's a smart way to do so, it. So you know, best time give to us donate. All of your money. <laughs> yeah, all of it. Just uh, Just get a loan. You know. <laughs> <laughs> don't get a loan, by the way. That was a joke. Yeah, don't actually do that. Don't give me any money. <laughs> Please don't do you that. Just have some money that is you really don't want, and you're like, fuck this money, then I'll take it off you, but otherwise... I mean, Penguin's a poor student. He's probably better to give your money to. Or just, you know... Even then, like... Yeah, even then... Don't give me money. Keep it keep it for yourself. Spend it on, uh... Spend it on jelly beans. Yeah. Jelly beans is a good... good use of your money, I think. Or, or, you know, but if you're really inclined, you can give it to me and I'll buy some jelly beans. But that's a, your, that's your last resort. If you have enough jelly beans, then you can <laughs> I'll buy some jelly beans. <sighs> I've got a new fleet. What should I call it? Um, the... I'm out of energy at this point. I'm just going to... I'm going to call it... Uh, uh, the actual... Keith. Patrol Expedition. No, I called it Keith. Yeah, lame. That doesn't even spell out Tate, but I don't why. <laughs> What's the point? <laughs> oh, I didn't I name understand. anything after uh, Dakota. Dakota donated earlier. Yeah. Let's, let's name someone after Dakota. I believe I had a new uh, general as well. I'll name them Cohen. Right. Let's reinforce this fleet, which will only cost. Call it the Lightning Fleet for the Lightning. Many fleet. things. Uh, Lightning already has a oh. person at this point. Well. Oh, I already named one Ferox. Ah, uh, crap. Let's have a look at my leaders. Who hasn't been named? 
funny because like because I, I put a shadow council in so I control all the elections. So like Beardy has now been supreme leader of the technocracy for uh, two hundred and five years, Jeez. <laughs> and he's immortal. So <laughs> excellent. <laughs> Never gonna die. Yeah, I'm the leader for life, but forever. Tab hook. I don't think that's someone. Here we go. Cohen. There you go. There's slightly different stream delays. Well, just watch one on mute. And there you like, go. whichever one is the most real time, keep that one off mute. Alright, here we go. Yeah. Go faster. If we go faster, oh, lightning we'll go donated. through the bullets. Oh, the flak, actually. <laughs> lightning oh, just donated me 3745. Wow. That's, oh, God, that's I missed. a lot of money. Thank you, Lightning. I think Lightning still has a character. I don't think he's been killed by my incompetence yet. <laughs> yeah, there you are, Lightning. Thank you, Lightning. It's very it's generous nice of you. He must have a lot of jelly beans. He must have a lot of jelly beans, I was about to say. Yeah. He gave me more money than he gave you, though, so it means I'm oh, clearly his favorite. Yeah, okay. That hurts a bit, but... Um, <laughs> 20, bucks, 20 bucks is 20 bucks. Uh, can't we <laughs> All right. Um, we are definitely gonna fucking we're gonna we're gonna get through the flak storm, and we're gonna we're gonna hit it with a rocket interceptor, and it's gonna be cool. And then I don't know what's gonna happen after that. Oh yeah, <laughs> this was my idea. <laughs> after that, I will have a mental breakdown at Ooh, Stellaris. So stay tuned. <laughs> guard mode on on the flak tower, which uh, isn't the best. All right, now it's on. Now we can do this. You got goofed. Oh, you got oofed. Oh. I'm staying in Berlin, going back to the UK tomorrow. Yeah, it's probably the time to get out. Sounds like some uh, crazies are storming the Reichstag. That's usually a bad sign for Germany. The world is, well, at least the UK is literally like that meme right now where they were like, oh, it's okay, everyone go on holiday and then fuck, go back. <laughs> yeah, God, I mean, that must really suck if you're like on a holiday and it's like, oh, yeah, yeah if you don't come back, you got to quarantine for two weeks like, and you've what? just got to go. Why would you go on holiday like now that anyway? Even if, the government, even if the government says it's okay, it's yeah. not okay, is yeah, it? Yeah, like, like if you're, like, just why would you go abroad right now? now like it seems like a really bad idea and i get that it you know we all have been stuck inside for a long time but then just go to fucking somewhere in your own country like i'm thinking maybe i'll take a little trip to oh I fucking hell lightning gamer um what did he give you fifty dollars so get fucked penguin <laughs> jesus um, oh no <laughs> technically i started watching tape first but i like you both thank you a lot lightning gamer that is uh, a lot of jelly beans um <laughs> 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 Thanks, you should have bro. seen um, last week. I had another. I, there's another guy who uh, comes on my streams really often called Olaf, hmm. like the snowman in Frozen. Oh, right. Um, and he he's always really really generous. And he's he donated, and then Lightning donated slightly more, and they, they both started <laughs> donating more and more and more. And I was like, like a in a competition, and I was sitting there like, well, I directly benefit from this, so I'm <laughs> not going to intervene. Uh, yeah. But... <laughs> no, rich people money fights are great to watch. Um... Thanks, bro. That's that's really nice of you. Um, I will spend it on something. Uh, so the th the thing that makes me weird, feel weird feel weird about still making money off YouTube is like my old partnership channel was Machinima, which got oh, yeah. bought out by Fox, which got bought out, and then Fox got bought by Time Warner, who already owned Full Screen, which is the network that owns Rooster Teeth. So. When they merged, they folded uh, the Machinima network into full screen. So now I, na so now my network is full screen, and that means when I make money, some fucking how Time Warner makes money. <laughs> like really? What? Yeah, they get a bit of my money. It's it's a weird world we live in, you know, where just everything is owned by fucking Time Warner and Disney. Yeah, too real. I kind of like it. I kind of like how crazy it is though that like. They have such a hold on um, entertainment that I make money for Time Warner. <laughs> like, oh. oh, I just realized earlier, right, I was saying there was a machine uprising in one of my enemies. Uh, turns out it's another one of my allies. Oh, so Stellaris is just like, hey, uh, fuck you today. <laughs> it's just like uh, we're, we're turning you off. We're shutting you down. <laughs> Yeah, so I've had two machine uprisings in both my allies. 
and this like the federations keep getting bigger so the more nations i conquer the more nations i then have to conquer because i haven't conquered them fast enough and i've got to conquer a whole like two more empires ah <laughs> just fuck's sake ah uh, it's all right it's all right calm thoughts think calm happy thoughts oh shit Point Clarius Gaming, you got stuck next to the massive protest? What, in in Germany? And you got delayed in Gibraltar? Jesus, man, you've been rad. Um, yeah. Oh, no, I'm thinking if I take a holiday this year, I might just go to Edinburgh, because I've never been to Scotland. And, uh, Edinburgh. Yeah, I've been to Scotland. No, I've been to, like, Wales, England, and Northern Ireland, but not Scotland. I've just never. I've never been to Northern Ireland, to be fair. Yeah, um, it's well, it, that's not connected though, is it? But yeah, Northern Ireland's pretty nice. Yeah. Um, you just gotta hide the accent a bit, <laughs> just a bit, sometimes. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get him. A little bit. Get fucked. Oh, I hit him again. He like sh the tower shot me a bunch, but I hit him right in the top. Oh, but that's not the cool bit where it hits the inner armor too. Still, though, that was that was cool. There you go. Hour and a half well spent, guys, and like seventy dollars well spent. Lightning. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna oh do another goodness. one and try and hit it lower. Um, just gonna mute my phone because you know my social life is just so active that I have so many messages because people are like, <laughs> oh my god, I'm like so popular. You don't even know, Becky. It's like, oh my god, <laughs> I'm gonna get some water for a second. Okay. Mindmaker, Solaris AI is completely useless and can't protect itself from robot uprisings that happen all over the place. Well, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Look at these borders! This is just distressing. All right, I'm Genuinely, I, I want to cleanse like half the galaxy right now. Because you know like Hearts of Iron 4 border gore is like yeah. the worst thing. And you have to, like, I'm not the only one who goes to war just to like get rid of border gore, oh, right? Yeah. I've spent more time on the peace deals than the uh, oh, yes. war. <laughs> the perfect peace deal. Oh, it's beautiful. Is... I, I just did a written run and uh, fucking God, got myself that West Germany, you know? Beautiful. Ooh, very nice. Yeah, there's nothing better than getting the West Germany at the end of a written run. Uh, I always get the um, better peace deal AI mod because it makes yeah. them Road to do peace deals exactly. instead of just randomly claiming like like half of Scotland as a Soviet you don't you need like beats Germany it's like yeah I'm you know uh, I'll have some of Scotland thanks <laughs> yeah. like it did that with France and I was like fuck you I'm reloading and redoing this deal yeah yeah like you'll puppet like all of France and then they'll take like Paris <laughs> I am um, oh, I've started playing the World War One mod as well which I really like because it's oh, yeah. basically just at the start of the war you do a bit of maneuvering then it just gets totally fucking locked down into trenches and then it's just a war of logistics and the navy and the navy in the Hearts of Iron is a bit shit but it yeah. is a lot of fun like trying to out logistics everyone and trying to well obviously if you're Britain you just pull in as many Dominion troops as you can if you're Germany you just go hard on industry and you have to like keep trying to get the tanks first so you can just get like that tiny bit of territory and then when you finally when all the frenchmen are dead after running up against your lines then you push through <laughs> and i've got yeah i've got more interested in world war one as well um because like i well cool yeah i've done lots of learning about world war two but world war one yeah really yeah war. uh world destroyers is talking about uh hearts of iron four here Stream is the great war mod, right? And also, Lightning yeah. says, uh, thank you for another donation, Lightning. Uh, hey, Beardy, make sure to tell Tape to switch to Streamlabs to save money. Also, I still have a few hundred dollars of jelly beans left. Oh, uh, really? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, Streamlabs is a good thing. You seem ashamed to hold stuff. it all to yourself. <laughs> but yeah, um, I, you should switch to Streamlabs, man, because YouTube takes 30% of donations. Yeah. Streamlabs and then takes fucking that Time Warner takes their bit as well. <laughs> exactly. I think I end up with about Use Streamlabs, and then they don't get any. That's true. Um, yeah, I should maybe do that. Or just have both options, like whatever people want to do. Yeah. Uh, come on. Oh, I didn't change teams. I am the worst at this. But I did knock over the flag tower. Oh, there it goes. Oh, the game froze for a full 10 seconds, and I hoped it was the end of the war. I was like, oh, it's calculating the piece. No, <laughs> yeah. no it's just auto saving. Just auto saving. Forgot to change teams again. 
Wait, are you guys talking about Civ 6? What? No? We're talking about no. Stellaris. Um, but I have played quite a bit of Civ 6 recently. With, oh, I've been uh, playing the friends. shit out of Civ 6 recently. Because I got with the expansions. from fucking... From Epic Games, which is awesome. <laughs> and then I've just been playing it with my uh, work friends. It's been good, although I'm bad at it. Uh, have you got the expansions, or is it the base game? Base game. Honestly, I think the Civ 6 base game is, like, almost unplayable. <laughs> it's a bit, yeah. Um... I it launched in a story stage. But I do have all the expansions to Civ 5, so that's probably why. Yeah, yeah. Even Civ 5's base game, though, was much better than Civ, the way Civ yeah. 6 launched. But Civ 6 with all of its DLC, although the DLC is spenny, Civ 6 with its DLC is incredible. Mm. Like, it has climate change and all sorts of really oh, cool shit, stuff. Really? I just never yeah, I've been playing the crap out of it. Long it. Holy like, shit, that. where did this fleet come from? Sorry, a massive fleet just. Uh, the I've still got. Meme dead. I still remember them three to one, but still. What's the cooking meme, Wild Wolf? Actually, I don't know what the meme is. Most 4X games are unplayable without expansions for some fucking reason. Because that'll make you buy the expansions. True. Without them having to charge loads for the base game, which is, you know, something. Ooh, Crusader Kings uh, 3 is coming out soon. Oh, I heard about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it looks fairly interesting. There's a guy I watched on YouTube called um, Historiograph. Don't know why I said it in that accent, but okay. Um, Historiograph, and he does loads of really good World War. Well, I guess just World War Two, World War One kind of um, like history things. Like a lot of the time, naval combat, and it's really detailed, like how battles play minute to minute. Um, oh, that's cool. Which is what I really love. Anyway, but he did a really interesting video about like. Um, one of the battles uh, that formed England today um, against ah. the Sea Vikings. And yeah, and it was a sponsored video by Crusader Kings 3, and it reminded me that it's coming out is September 1st. Hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag give me money. Paradox. <laughs> Lightning just uh, donated again. Thank you, Lightning. He says, Sissex is really fun, coincidentally, I'm playing it right now, listening to y'all. Ah, it, you... is, it is really good. Like, when I went down to Southampton, I, I didn't do any YouTubing the whole time. I was just chilling, like, mainly with my mates and stuff, mm. just having a, having, a, having a grand old time. And, um, yeah, I just played the crap out of Civ Six. Yeah, I've been playing it like, oh, yes! Oh, good. Been playing it kind of weekly. Oh, I got a good hit versus guns. Cool. We're done. A hit. A um, fine yeah. hit. <laughs> I'm playing it weekly with work people and uh, just uh, doing some drinking with it because that makes it more fun because I get oh, real warlike when I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you remember our um, do you remember our KKW Civ game and I like read out what my advisor was saying about your <laughs> army. You just immediately declared war. <laughs> my advisor said that you had one unit that was sad and lonely. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, fuck you. And immediately like you're like, oh, alright then. And it's like, yeah, Germany has declared war. <laughs> <laughs> Careful Tape, uh, if they sponsor you, you actually need to make videos for them. That's true, and I don't really want to do that, so Oh, one of the best, um, one of the most fun strategy games I've played recently is Medieval War 2 modded to be Lord of the Rings. And it's not just like a little mod, it's like about five years of work by people who have read all of the history books and like know well, everything. Like Silmarillion about and everything. everything. Yeah. Holy crap. Oh, yeah, no, no, not just the Silmarillion. So they've read obviously the three main books and they've read. Obviously, The Hobbit and The Silmarillion, and then the 12 history books about fucking Lord of the Rings, like, the the whole, um, you know, because Lord of the Rings is in the third age of, of the world, but age two and one are way more interesting. And there's also, Wait, like... What? There's more than just the Lord of the Rings? How much is there? So, okay, books-wise, there is the three Lord of the Rings books, the Hobbit, yeah. the Silmarillion, the ones everyone knows about. And then there's about 12 history books about like how the world came into being and how the elves fought, how the gods fought each other and the elves fought with them. And like Sauron is like a really bitch enemy compared to like the guys before him. Melkor is like a actual god level guy who made Sauron. And it's all the stuff and it's like so much and there's like fights where there's like multiple balrogs and it, it, it's it the the lore is insane and it's like why didn't you write a book about this 
<laughs> and there's a couple of more recent books that have come out. Um, uh, Christopher Tolkien's last publications, one's called Baron and Luthien, which is a bit of a love story and an epic one-man adventure. And then one is The Fall of Gondolin, which is about like a, like a big giant kind of battle for the city of Gondolin, which is an old city of men, elves, elves. Um, in the I was gonna say, if it's Gondor, then it's men. But yeah, yeah, oh yeah, that's that's the new lame city. This is the Gondolin. Um, yeah, so there's loads of shit. And anyway, these people like understand Lord of the Rings like crazy, and it's like the best Lord of the Rings game I've ever played. And it's just a free mod for Medieval Two. Wow. Add-over. Some total conversion mods are insane. Like the since mm. uh, like the Halo conversion mod mm. for Sins of the Solar Empire, the Star Trek total conversion for Stellaris mm-hmm. is insane. Insane. I've played some of that and it is it is mental. And the great thing is, having watched like as much Trek as I have, mm. like you know what decisions to make in all of the events because um because obviously you've seen them play out in episodes, <laughs> so you know what to do, like to avoid bad things happening. Mm. And yeah. uh yeah, no, it's really, really good. Because Stellaris cool. basically like is a Star Trek game without the license, mm. like yeah, if everyone's right. honest. All right. Okay, I need something to do for like at least half an hour. Someone suggest something in the chat, and I'll I'll read it. And if you really want to get it seen, pain jelly beans. <laughs> Joking. But if someone has an idea, just something simple, like maybe you want to see something on a planet that I could go find in like half an hour or something, which wouldn't be too hard because I'm. What if someone just says, "Hey, make a new fall of cap." <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Real quick. Just have a real quick fall of cap. Just, Can just you a quick. Can sea dragon on the moon? If someone has a sea dragon, didn't Matt Lamb do that? Yeah, I think he did that today. So did Matt Lamb do a sea dragon? Yeah, today I think. So oh, today, Silmarillion yeah. is a sexy book. Um, I'm not sure about sexy. It's interesting though. It's uh, fucking. You're reading it. And you're like, God, oh, this is more detailed than the actual Bible. <laughs> 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 All the gods sung the world into existence. But Melkor started singing a different song and created all the evil in the world. <sighs> I literally just deported all of my unemployed people to a random ring world. <laughs> <laughs> More wings. I could do a deck play. Oh my god. <laughs> you want a steel beam on the front for more kinetic impact. Could do that. Attach bombs to the interior of Rockety Boy. You're right, we haven't destroyed it enough. We've punched a hole in it, but that hasn't destroyed the flak term. We're doing bombs some more. More bombs. Okay. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Um, but the flak terms in real life are basically invincible. Like, um, they constantly try and... Well, they, for a long time they tried to blow up these black terms in like Vienna and Berlin and stuff but they're just so strong and concretey that you just literally just they couldn't blow them up like they just didn't fall over <laughs> alright okay that's a lot of bombs that ought to do it come on rockety boy apparently the bible's been translated into Klingon here's a fun fact <laughs> there's your fun fact of the day <laughs> Bible is in Klingon because of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Steel beams and bombs on the beam. Ooh. But can steel beams melt steel beams? He's asking the real questions yeah. here. And now we're getting into it, you know. <laughs> but no, of course, like I was saying earlier, this is a fair ta- all of Tape Gaming's content is family friendly. <laughs> Completely. I'm I'm sure. Your silence speaks volumes. <laughs> <laughs> it literally looks like a suicide vest now. Yeah, it kinda does a bit. But that's kinda what it is. Bill Kerman is a brave American soldier who's going to bomb the flak tower. Bullet propelled plane. We could try that later, yeah. Well that's an idea and a half. I mean, you put a couple of gow cannons on the back, you know? It's like the A10 wor- Warthog slows down when it fires its gun. Oh, it does, doesn't it? It's yeah. a recoil. I mean, deploy- it fires freaking depleted uranium rounds, so... <laughs> yeah. 
Oh. <laughs> oh shit, fuck, I thought you wouldn't be family. I assume you mean friendly um, after that. Keep it treads. I don't think I have the treads mod installed. Give it treads. Oh, that's a classic. Yeah, I think you can make stock treads now, though, with all the robot parts if you tried hard enough. Ah, that's an interesting thought. All right. Oh shit! Come on. Here we go. I'm just continuing my galaxy cleansing. Nice. So it's taking a cleansing. lot longer than I would I would like, but. Still, it's 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 going. Oh, I need to turn on the right team. Here we go. Death and glory. It's shooting me. Taking fire. Bombs away. Oh, did I get him? I got him. But I don't think Are you winning, son? <laughs> I guess so, kinda. <laughs> Uh, I ripped a good hole in it, like a proper rend, but um, I don't think the bombs did it. I'll try it again, because that is what the stream is, just repeatedly flying uh, at the uh, at the thing. Or, instead of constantly doing this, I might put like a million Gao cannons on something and outgun it. Or... Way better idea. Fuck all of this. Fuck everything I'm doing. We're making the f uh, flak term fly. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Yeah. I, Why didn't you open with that? I know, that would have been better. Oh, well, I think I have another plan for a stream, which is a flying fortress, by which I mean I'm going to build a castle and make it fly. <laughs> so, uh, you know, come back for that one day. All right, yeah, flying flak term. I like that idea. What is this? I'm confused. Well, Arky saw I was building a flak term, which is a big Nazi flak tower, and I was trying to bomb it, and that didn't work. And I was trying to kamikaze it, and that didn't work. But then rocket, flying a rocket plane into it did work, and now the next step, obviously, is making the flak term fly. Then put a BD flight computer on it, and then uh, battle two of them. Yeah, that, well, obviously. <laughs> well, just, you don't even have course. to say that. How much does this weigh? <laughs> 300 tons. You can make that fly. Yeah, I've made stupider make things fly. fly, I think. Maybe I'll need Yeah, like your whole fall of Kerbin Air Force. <laughs> hey, yo, oh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Low hanging fruit, I had to take it. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> I mean, uh, you had, to be fair, you had much better aircraft than me in Fall of Kerbin. Um, well, my fighter for most for of most early part. World War II was trash awful, but I never used it, so. Oh yeah, you just use like nothing but attackers. Didn't well, because I always needed to, and I knew that fighter was trash, and I hadn't really figured a new one yet until I made that really good one. But I just didn't have enough time and or enough planes. Um, so oh yeah, you made that like yeah, you made that really really good one, didn't you? It was just like a focker wolf. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh shit! Eight times symmetry is gonna make this really difficult. But well, I can fix that. And my cool, um, like, oh, what was it though? I made like a really hardcore heavy fighter attacker. Okay, I can't fix this. Um, I made like a really hardcore heavy fighter attacker thing that I used for all that bombing at, um, Cathenia's Valley. And that was oh yeah, good. was that the thing where it had, it was like, uh, the that's jeweled a, Mustang design? Yeah, 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 and that's the thing that got hit by, um, uh, <laughs> they got hit by the, um, the uh, upturned tank. Oh, uh, yeah, I remember. Yeah, good times. Um, good times, indeed. Ooh, that's a lot of, uh, a lot of chat. Black Tower to the Moon Ultimate Wonderwaffen. <laughs> Bomb America from the Moon. Ryan drive. Uh, never expect that. I mean, that's <laughs> what they did in Iron Sky, isn't it? So, you know. 
Make it a helicopter rotor. Oh, could make it a... Well, I would turn it into a helicopter, obviously. Standard. But we need to dogfight them, so, you know. Obviously, I can't do that. Do it doggy style. Hey, oh, oh, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> The thing is, once you hit 2400 in Stellaris, like, endgame crises start happening, like, interdimensional invaders and all sorts of crap, and I'm st I've am been in this war now for, like, decades, and if an endgame crisis happens, you really need to unite the galaxy, put aside your differences, and fight against it, but I don't want to just sort of stop this war when I'm so close to winning it, and I put so many hours into winning it. Yeah. If that makes any sense. Yeah, it's like, like when you get right to the end of any kind of strategy game, you're like, oh, it's yeah. not fun anymore, but I gotta win. I, I really, I really want to win this before Endgame Crisis starts showing up, but I don't know if I even can. Oh. It's upsetting, to say the least. We work on tape gaming, our new fascist overlord here in Britain. Exactly, I could fix everything. Um, I shouldn't just blame it all on someone, you know. Um, <laughs> where am I from? Is that directed at me? Where am I from? Herefordshire, can't you tell? <laughs> so where the original, like the traditional pirate accent comes from, is Herefordshire? It is, yeah. Because one of the the guy who like um, first played a pirate was from Herefordshire, so everyone was like, oh, I guess they sound like that. It's like, nah, it's just what Herefordshire people sound like. Yar. You are. You are. Arrived by Combine Harvester. And I'll give you the key. Come on, now. I got them live ones, yeah, actually. <laughs> you, what's that? You've actually written the Combine Harvester? No, no, no. I, I saw the people who made that song live once. Oh, the Wurzels. Yeah, they were in, um, I guess they were doing something in Monda. Um, which is not where I'm from, by the way. Not there. Um, but yeah, I was like, oh, the Combine Harvester people. That's crazy. Cray cray. Like the totes cray cray. What am I blaming Beardy for? I don't know. What are you blaming me for? I don't know. Mission failed. One kilometer flat tower was ignored. That, yeah, that would be tricky. As someone who has built a one kilometer space station, um. <laughs> oh, my mega shipyard was done. I didn't realize. Why Whoopsie. You symmetry? That's a lot of wasted time on that. Whoopsie daisy. Not that it even really matters. Because I'm obviously like, I'm so much. I got order of magnitude more powerful than everyone in the galaxy. <laughs> I'm still building mega structures. Like, <laughs> just gotta do something. You gotta, I gotta have something to spend my ridiculous amount of resources on. That's why I'm like, I'm looking for things to just blow money <laughs> off. <laughs> What is this, the current state of the tech industry? Ooh. And why is there a giant space amoeba? You could just be saying random things. I, I have no idea if you're just making stuff up, but... No, there is a giant space amoeba just eating one of my space stations, just just as you do. Yeah, as, a, as you know, as, just as chilling. usually happens. Pest control! It's a major dump. <laughs> Oh, right, here we go. Let's nuke it. <laughs> it's like a little, it's a little flock of space amoebas. I just sent like a massive war fleet to just go <laughs> terminate them. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's how we do it in the Penguin Empire, ladies and gentlemen. 
some... No half measures. Exterminatus or nothing. No half measures, Wolf. No mercy. Gonna do lots of twig scaling and it's gonna be great. That'll be just roll. It's gonna be the greatest plane in the world. The greatest plane in the, in world. the world. Oh, Jeremy Classic. <laughs> I should watch the Grand Tour. Apparently it gets better after season one. Yeah, I've heard it's pretty decent actually. Yeah, because season one was just a bit too scripty. Like, obviously, yeah. it's always been scripted, but, like, it just felt more scripted mm. than usual. Um, so I don't really like that, but apparently it gets better. So... Okay, this needs a tail plane. Obviously, it's a flying flak tower. For some reason, Keith just isn't a fleet anywhere. For some reason, yeah, Keith just doesn't exist as a fleet. The hell? God damn it, Keith. According to the game, Keith just doesn't exist. Naturally. Um. For anyone wondering what I'm doing, oh, he's just joined. Um, yeah, I do read chat, Sans and Zachary. It's just because Penguin's here, you know, I have Hello. people to talk to. Um, all of Tape Shib should have been replaced by bots and lizard people except us. Yeah, possibly. It could all be bots. Oh yeah, like I was saying just before, <laughs> for anyone who's just joining me, what I am doing now is turning my big flak tower, my 300 ton flak tower, into <laughs> a airplane. Because what else would you do? Yeah, that's what you do with this kind of thing. <laughs> Seriously, read a book. <laughs> or watch any of your other videos. Right, I'm going to have a little break, uh, so I'm going to leave you to uh, to your devices. I'll be right. back um, very shortly. I need to go get some water and stuff. Right. Toodles! Uh, I guess I can read some more chat now, I suppose. Um, so I just got here, and what are you doing? And I love you both in KSP. Oh, that's very nice of you to say. Uh, it sounds like you've heard what I'm doing now, which is good. Uh, I'm doing something extremely logical. Um, it's as if my plane had hit the flak term and um, <laughs> is now just flying off with it. I like the look. I just need some engines. Like, just a fucking loads of massive engines. I'm going to use the big um, jet engines. Um, give it eyes. I know I'm a bot, but can't speak for anyone else. Oh, you are a bot, Mindmaker. Complicated. Complicated. This very sophisticated technology. Um... You're not a lizard. Ah. Now we're getting into the real questions. Who here is a lizard? Wow, these engines don't look so big next to the flak tower. But we can scale them right up. Um, Alright, let's just have six of these. We're going to need some fuel, obviously. Uh, we'll sort that out. We're also going to need some mad auto-strutting. Um, auto-strut. 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 Just strut wherever, really. There we go. Nice. Right, and then we'll put some fuel in it. And I think that should work. Typical KSB player, player behavior. Ah, yes. Build a tank, give it wings. I did that once, but it was not quite as cool as this. Oh, it'll need wheels as well. This is going to be amazing. Yeah, oh, Eamon Kelly and Kearney got, me, got to the same thing at the same time. All right. Um... Let's get some big dick fuel tanks. Get that big dick flak term energy. And then we'll be all good to go. There we go. That's a good amount of fuel. That's probably enough fuel. Um, I guess I probably need to cross feed it. So if I do... Eh, it's hard to work inside this tower. So if I do this... Right, nice. And then that. Hey man, I'm back. Oh, hey man. I'm just uh, tuning into your stream briefly, see what you're up to. Oh, um, 
Same, while I'm eating my mini cheddars on my break. Things. <laughs> Good little mini cheddar break. I'm doing mm. sane things, is what I'm doing. Um, I have an unhealthy addiction to mini cheddars, it's actually uh, my thing is baby a problem. Bells. I just fucking love baby bells. They're so expensive though, oh, no. for how so much I usually get, get one offer, I get like a 12 pack of offer. In there. But Even hey, that's them. that software engineering man. Pays for my baby bell. Just get a block of cheddar and just eat that. It's not as good. It's not small and kind of shitty. <laughs> <laughs> there is something about shitty food which is kind of alluring. Yeah. Though. I well, remember like yeah. being home in lockdown, right? So my mum, well, we're all vegetarians. So my mum cooks right. really wonderful food, mm. right? But there was just, but at the end of like the fifth month of lockdown, I had to go back to Southampton just. just well, I had to see some of my friends to stop going stir crazy, but also mm. I just needed to eat some greasy, crappy food. Right. <laughs> Craved yeah. it. Oh, I got that the first like summer I went back home after uni. It's like, God, I miss just being able to eat awful food. <laughs> I got a, like a, a deep pan, shitty pizza from Pizza Hut, oh, yeah, and it that's, was that's oh, pizza. it was good, and it came with the cheesy garlic tear and share included. Ooh. And I shared it with no one. <laughs> yeah, I love like sharing packs of crisps. It's like, oh yeah, good luck. <laughs> it should just be called Fat Bastard Packs <laughs> yeah. of Crisps. Really. You know what you're doing, packs of crisps. <laughs> yeah. Sorry if you can hear the mini cheddars. Sorry if you can hear my jewel. There we go. Your flak term is um interesting. Are you just strapping? So you strap jet engines on it. What are these struts for? Wheels, obviously. Oh, of course, okay. What <laughs> yeah, else? Just normal flat you foolish, stuff. You foolish lard bird. What else would they be for? <laughs> Alright, looking good. I'm hoping auto struts are as strong as I'm thinking they're going to be. Otherwise, this is gonna not do well. I mean... <laughs> you think it's gonna do well anyway? <laughs> yes. You know, well, yeah, that's the thing with whenever I build something stupid, it's like, this won't work, and then it just does. That's well, my superpower. As long as you have, you know, you've got to have faith in your creations, yeah. to be fair, you know. And if it may be the it's real important. flag term is the friends we made along the way. <laughs> Never heard a truer thing be said. Yar. Shit, oh, fuck, I put them on radially, so now it's going to go in circles. All right, okay. <laughs> fuck. Something's attached radially. Oh, I don't understand. <laughs> hmm. Might need to do asymmetrical wheels. Is that? No. Fuck. Hmm. Oh my god. Now we've got one more nation to conquer. And then the war is over. And then Alexander went. War is over! <laughs> <laughs> Thank Christ. And the thing is, they, like, in late game Stellaris, um, then you can colonize worlds, obviously, but you can also build, like, orbital habitats. Mm. And if you're invading someone, you have to invade all the habitats. Okay. And you can't... Whereas, like, with a fleet, you can just chain a bunch of commands to just invade a bunch of systems one after the other. Mm. With armies, you have you can't chain, like, invasion orders. You have to do them one at a time. Okay. And late game, they some nations, they just spam orbital habitats. You go into a system, and there are, like... 25 of them and you got to click on each one wait like a month for the battle to finish then click on the next one like you're trying to micro a whole empire right and you just got all these orbital habitat invasions going on it is a nightmare but this this night this empire thankfully don't seem to have discovered them <laughs> so thank god <laughs> it does feel sometimes like these strategy games aren't quite designed for how big the games end up oh, i won <gasps> i won victory yes Oh my god! I won against one of them at least. Am <laughs> I still at war with some of them? Oh no, it's peace with everyone. Oh, nice. Finally. <laughs> okay. Moment of truth on the flying flag, flag term. I don't think this one will work first time on account of that being the stupidest thing anyone's ever done, and the amount of time it's taking to load. <laughs> Donated. Have some more dosh before I leave. Need sleep. My first year of uni starts this Monday. Civil engineering. Ah, uh, bloody civil. civil. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks for the donation, man. But us aerospace engineers, uh, 
we don't we don't gel with the civil engineers. <laughs> Beardy's guide to engineering, right? Okay, now we've had peace. I'm just gonna sit back and relax and explain and different engineering disciplines. Software engineering is the lowest. At least the term. Um, uh, you don't really count as engineers. No, you're basically. We, engineers we're definitely not engineers. We're like, oh, no. engine fell off. I'm an engineer. <laughs> <laughs> oh my so, god. No. So aerospace engineers, we're like, we're like Top Gun aviators on. We're the cool guys, right? You know, we're the best of the best, cream of the crop. We're freaking awesome. We build rockets and crap. Okay, can't get much cooler than that. And then. Next in the pecking order, you've got the mechanical engineers. So basically, they're like the wannabe aerospace engineers, but they didn't quite decide what they want to be yet, or they didn't quite have the grades to get onto aerospace engineering. So they do mechanical. And they're cool. We like the mechanicals. They're our buddies. you got the maritime engineers. So like the sh they're also called ship scientists. Uh, and they build boats. And that's fine. You know, we're, we're happy to... They, they, we just sort of leave them be. Let them let them do them. They're, they're in their own little world, their own little maritime world. Um... And it's cool. We're we just we're kind of chill with them. We don't mind them. It's fine. You got the acoustical engineers, and the only reason anyone does acoustical engineering is because they didn't have the grades to get onto any of the other engineering disciplines. So we just pity them. Everyone pities them, and everyone transfers off the course after a year. And then you've got the civil engineers. I can I can describe what the civil engineers are like at the University of Southampton by by just telling you right. There's there's an engineering society, which encompasses every engineering discipline. And then there's the Civil Engineering Society. They had to they, they, they have to be different in everything they do. It's like it's always it's people who basically didn't know what they wanted to do at uni and so looked at what lined up with the subjects they did and they saw civil engineering and they're like, Yeah, okay. But that it's it's always like ninety percent people who think they're too cool for engineer for engineering right uh, you think like for the stigma associated with being an engineer like being introverted and stuff like it's people who think they're like yeah, above that and i don't know what it is about civil engineering but it's like 90 percent that kind of person and every other discipline hates them yeah, like with a passion like... they have their own society because like they just got booed <laughs> 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 in the actual engineering society and to, to be fair, the actual the civil engineering society is more popular than the engineering society is. Oh. But, um, yeah, it's like in on in computing, there's like the computer science people, like the real computer science people, and there's loads of like weird mixed courses where it's like music and computing, and it's like, oh yeah, fucking pick one. <laughs> they're like good because it's usually just musicians who don't know how to program and yeah. <laughs> don't really ever learn, and it's just like. Uh, and they're like, really obviously don't want to be like nerds. And it's like, well, bro. Yeah, <laughs> bro, just accept what you are. Yeah, like if you're, yeah. if you're doing this, you know, you're not going to be religiously fanatical about code. You're probably not getting through it. Okay, we've changed the- Civil engineer. engineers also just want to shag bridges. Yeah. Bridge fetishes, that man. Right. It's a bit strange, <laughs> just saying. Computer science or aerospace engineer? Um, well, I mean, you just uh, ask. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's you, the two courses we both just, did. So. I'm one person. We're one person, like talking at the same time, like some. Um, no, but I guess, uh, I guess, aerospace engineering is probably cooler. But computer science <gasps> is. Yeah. Well, okay, computer science can be cool in the same way that being a writer can be cool. But most people who do writing for a living write like copy for magazines like and every fucking programmer thinks they're like you know like this like godlike innovator who's like some amazing technologist and it's like mate you make web signs it's not that fucking <laughs> difficult like and, and there's a huge difference between like the guys that say google making kind of you know the uh, making like the next generation sort of, or the academics making like the next generation sort of AI and stuff and the dude who puts the website together but the dudes who put the websites together put themselves in the same category <laughs> as the fucking <laughs> genius engineers and it is just I hilarious. I feel like I have a higher opinion of computer scientists than you do. You like. don't <laughs> I think them. computer scientists are cool. No they are, no computer science students are great and I do like programming people because obviously like yeah. Most of my friends are programming people, um, but there is a general thing in the 
industry where not it's not everyone like most people know what they're yeah. doing but like some people really think that they're like some amazing kind of like grand innovator and she's like well, we're just making websites here man <laughs> <laughs> yeah all right. Oh, Cohen, the civil engineer guy, just went, have you ever seen the curves on some bridges, though? Shudder. To be fair. <laughs> to be fair. Bro. Golden Gate. Golden Gate Bridge. Woodbank. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, I just, I conquered some territory, and I'm casually just assimilating all of the populace. Good. Good. The next decade, 244, yeah. Considering all the way websites work around. Yeah, there's also a lot of... Programming's kind of difficult, but like it's pretty easy to learn to basically program, but it's quite hard to be a really good programmer. Mic drop. Mm. <laughs> yeah, no, it's just like you know, it's 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 a yeah to like actually do it really well. It's really difficult. Ah, no air mm. takes right. Lame. <sighs> We'll Everyone's there. just being assimilated. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I've come to this territory and it's just full of people that have been forcefully uploaded into robot body. <laughs> Wild wolf. It's no, horrific. Just to copy code all day long. <laughs> yeah, that is most of it. It's actually not. Like, that's. If you go on r slash programmer humor, you'll get the uh, uh, impression that all software engineers do is uh, copy code off Stack Overflow. But, um. <laughs> that is yeah. what they do, isn't it? <laughs> I mean a little bit, but again, usually the good ones, not so much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a very hardline computer scientist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't believe the war, the war is finally bloody over. Jesus. Yeah, Christ. victory in Space Day, I guess. <laughs> I've got a penal colony which I called Space Australia, and it's got a governor who's I, he's got a governor, and he immediately like just d became really corrupt. Like you get random traits, and he just got a random trait corrupt the moment I put him in charge. And I just thought it was so funny. Is it the, like the guy in charge of the penal colony is corrupt? I just left him there. Well, it sounds like he's in the right place. Yeah, exactly. Do I really have to cross speed air? That doesn't seem like a thing that should be. Well, you never know. It's KSP. Yeah, I think I do. I think I. Have... Yeah. That's <laughs> oh, I love how janky it looks. Because when you build something that isn't really supposed to do what it's doing, and then. Hmm. Yeah, I you know. I'll try without the cross speed first. I don't think I need to cross speed it. <laughs> if working <laughs> programming, if working equals not, then work. Exactly. <laughs> Flawless! <laughs> He's speaking the language of gods. <laughs> the next deck could actually hit it on the hit it on the head. Programming. Easy to easy to learn, tough to master master. Impossible to figure out why this fucker won't work when I hard coded this bastard. And it was like Yeah. That's why Pretty I'm much. very glad I don't do front end development anymore, because I don't like the visual pin. None of it makes sense. How do you CSS? Alright, here we go. It's a lot of flame outs, it's fine. They are off two How do we get Beardy's attention? Uh, by chatting. We want to see bubbles. Okay, so I've had a space amoeba in my empire, which is like my pet for ages, and he's now. I've had him for so many hundreds of years, he's now grown to be bigger than a star. <laughs> Just called, I called it Bubbles, and it's just been chilling. Alright, this yeah. is actually moving. It doesn't have enough <laughs> picture authority, it's but we'll eaten get it's off. home station. Um, <laughs> interesting. Air can't go through some parts, same as fuel. Ah, it seems to be working. I don't know. Oh god, don't tip over! Don't tip over! No! No! Sounds like you're having fun. Mmm! It doesn't turn great on the ground, but it's technically in the air, and now it's on the ground. The frames. The frames. Okay. Better than last time. We're gonna try that again. Death Puff, that's a lot of negativity. Five engines is more than enough engines. 
They don't all have to be running. That's why we have 16 of them. I'm not sure, well, if I can get it flying, I might as well dogfight fight him, but uh, we'll, we'll see. If I can get it flying at all, it'll be a miracle. Please turn. Close. No. Going off the end. Oh, no. Okay. Just lean into it. Let it happen. Yeah, the whole bottom stack of engines is not running. We don't need them. Apparently my space in me, <laughs> mind because this bubbles is basically a planet you should be able to colonize at this point. <laughs> <laughs> this amoeba is so ridiculously massive. Holy crap. What are the specs of my PC? Um... That's a good question. I'm actually quite interested now. What does a computer scientist consider good specs? Well, I mean... Well, what you consider good specs and what you have are two very different but, things. Uh, yeah. Well, the thing is, is like, most of my work is done on a laptop these days, but that heads up. But what I have is uh, like a uh, Skylake i5 of some kind. I think like the 6600K. So that's actually not amazing, but it's it's decent enough. Uh, I've got a GTX 1070. I've got 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM. I have lots of just endless hard drives. Um, I think it's everything. I think it's the main bit. Um, but the process is pretty decent. Like I, when I was doing my dissertation, which was something that required good specs because it was like AI, like real time as well. Um, uh, it was like, I, I just managed to get it like efficient enough to run because it was running like a racing game and my AI on top of it, mostly on the CPU, like trying to, get it to drive this car around this track and like it was so intensive on my computer and I just managed to find a game that was sufficiently like detailed for this to work but not so much that um, it would just melt my computer and then <laughs> with a bit of overclocking and lots of like multi-core programming and all of that I managed to just about get it to run but when it got to summer it would get so hot in my room with this running that I'd, if I if the window wasn't open it didn't work like, because it would just slow down too much. So I think, yeah, an i5 is pretty good. I was able to do that. Um, but it depends what you're doing. Like, if you're doing web development, a MacBook is fine. If you're doing, um, you know, intensive AI things, you need, well, I just use cloud stuff. But, like, you know, a good processor and lots of graphics cards. Hey, chat, should I uh, declare war on this fallen empire? Yes. Do it. Do it. There's a xenophobic... So basically, like, you've got these empires who are, like, ancient, like, really powerful empires, but they're fallen. Like, they can't produce new ships and stuff, but they're, they've got insane technology and stuff. Mm. But uh, I've got so ridiculously out of hand, they are now pathetic compared to me. <laughs> I really kind of want to go cleanse them because they still have better technology than me. You can go fight them and then claim um, and, like, steal their technology. Hmm. I'm not bothered about taking their worlds. I just want to steal their tech. I want to get that new tech. Yeah, because their their worlds are too too far away from my space, and then I, I don't need more money. But the only way to get their tech is to steal it from them. You yeah. can't research it. So I think I'm going to consolidate all my fleets and then go to war with them. Dave, I, feel I like need to reinforce need some of these fleet stabilizers. I feel like you need to watch your mouth, there, buff. But yes, I do. I like um, just like getting really randomly aggressive about little tiny comments people make. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't know. It's funny to me. Use Panther engines. You use. I might Panther start engines. claiming their systems anyway, though. Their planet's like impossible to invade, though. So I'm gonna want to um, get my giant super weapon and cleanse some of their worlds. <laughs> I yeah. built a giant neutron laser, which wipes out, eradicates all life on the surface of a planet. Um, yeah, and also you should probably wipe out... Um... Alright, 
Okay. Here we go. Foolish, I just claimed some of their systems and they just got really pissed off. <laughs> a lack of respect you show for your elders will be your undoing. Prostrate yourselves before us and beg our forgiveness. We may have refrained from annihilating your worthless little empire. Okay, boomer. <laughs> Hang on, our empire will not be bullied. Oh, it took off for. Oh, it flew for they a can bit. now use the punishment Cass's Belli against us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go nuke these guys. Minimum spec for this game. I don't know, PSP. Well, you run it on anything, I suppose, but it helps kind of this program. How many fleets do I have? Oh, I've got four, four major fleets, okay. And a Leviathan. I might bring the Leviathan along. Now nah, I'll leave it to defend my space. What's the best way to their space? I think it's like that. Right, let's do this. Get my transport fleets out there as well. Gotta move these wings back. They're dynamically unstable. Now they are dynamically stable. It will fly gloriously, and we're just gonna make these air and take stupid big just to, you know then we'll have enough air then we will fly and then land will be funny use flex tape hey that is hey. the 9845th time i've heard that joke on the screen so you see well penguin doesn't realize by winning this war he will awaken another fallen empire that's true if you wipe out one fallen empire the other ones wake up but oh. the other ones aren't very threatening we've got this one over here is an ancient caretaker which is pretty chill and then you've got the one down here who are just some spiritualists wankers um but these guys are actually xenophobics if they wake up they are literally going to build a colossus and begin cleansing the galaxy mm. so it's a good idea to pre you know preemptive strike these these guys <coughs> oh, you're right there tape I'm, yeah good um death bus, I think i'm gonna get this to go hypersonic on account of it being a 300 ton flag tower It would actually be easier to get this to space, like five, five and a half feet. Okay, that's a lot of engines, that's a lot of speed. I am speed. I need 171 more influence. Oh, Claim their home world. Yes. It flies! You said I was mad! <laughs> I am a god among men. Uh, my super weapon is on the move and it is beautiful. My super weapon is <laughs> also on the move. <laughs> I'm going to bring a science ship along as well. Bang at 200 miles an hour. Much. It's a speedy flat tower. Let's see if it turns. It does not. <laughs> it does not turn. Well, it turns fast and then falls. Oh, machine uprising got sort of crushed. Wonderful. And no, next decade I'm not playing modded. I'm playing 100% vanilla. I yeah, I would not play Stellaris again unmodded. I'm pretty sure there are loads of quality of life mods which make the automation and UI and AI and everything all a lot better. Okay, I wouldn't play without those. Well, there are some large pieces of flat tower on the ocean now. It kind oh of my god. Like a I'm just sorry. I'm just watching this armada. This <laughs> my entire navy is just like. This ridiculous. <laughs> this is probably the largest armada I've ever assembled in Solaris. Full stop. <laughs> this is just ridiculous. The size of this fleet. Just spam in the end. And I'm moving it through like other people's space. Like they've got to be shitting themselves while it's heading to invade someone else. <laughs> you are right. Holy crap. Kelly, a bigger rudder would be very helpful. Yeah, people are asking how I got psionic robots. I have no idea. Like, so, right, so psionics is supposed to be something exclusive to organic species. Yet for some reason, my robots have become psionic. <laughs> it's a bug, but it's also kind of crazy. Like, <laughs> it's kind of funny. Nice. Like, my robots are also psionic, so they're just broken, the overpowered. <laughs> Let's have a look at my species thing and see how ridiculous these guys are. 
They're mechanical, they've got power drill, superconductive, electric engines, and yeah, they also are psionic for some reason. These guys are all being assimilated, right? Yeah. It's just taken a while. You will be assimilated. Oh, these guys aren't being assimilated. Do not. Oh, that can't stand. Assimilation. Alright, I'm feeling good about this one. It's much it's got much bigger tail planes. Move those engines back forward. Are you still trying to make your um flak tower fly? I'm trying. It's already flown, it just didn't turn. Now it will uh, fly and turn. Hopefully. <clears throat> Oh yeah, no, Eamon Kelly, uh, the KSP doesn't model airflow around things, you can just have like, um, you can have wing surfaces inside your aircraft and they'll still work. It does float very well, Deathfire. It's a very floaty flag tower. See you later, Wild Wolf. Time for sure. Alright, I think I'm going to make another one of my million dollar bets that it will work flawlessly this time. Beardy, what do you think of the Giga Structures mod? Um, well, considering I've already basically broken the game by building a couple of mega structures, um, I think Giga Structures is just freaking bonkers. You can literally make, like, a ship out of a star system like you can assemble multiple planets into a like unstoppable spaceship and it's like absolutely just <laughs> on another level i think it's great though it's a natural sort of evolution but well i pitched up and my wing broke off so that's not the oh that's encouraging i made that million dollar bet but it's flying <laughs> 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 from just sort of the stream yeah, that wasn't ideal. I wish I had a, I'd put on a face cam for this, because, like, facial expressions will be a large part of just the slight worries <laughs> that are... We got this. Yeah, we've got to do our Pulsar Lost Colony thing at some point. Yes. We had to make a range icon because everyone was busy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, we should do that oh, Engines point. fell off. Oop, other wing fell off. All right, okay. For those of you wondering, uh, we were planning on doing a series on Pulsar Lost Colony because the reaction to the Pulsar Lost Colony stream we did was actually very positive. A lot of people watched that stream after it was streamed. Yeah. Um, a lot of people were saying, make this a series. Yeah, that would be really fun. Star Trek that shit, but like... Hell yeah. Dumb. Like... <laughs> Goons of the Galaxy, Goons hell of yeah. Goons of the Galaxy, that's what it is. I think I just nuked a space... Oh no, I nuked some pirates. Okay, Mind maker, this flight profile is kind of a freeform sort of... Uh... <laughs> that's what I'm going to say when I hand in my dissertation. I try and explain this to people at work, because programming is often really kind of freeform. I, I often describe it kind of like painting. And... And then, like, what? I'll, someone will try and like ask me what I'm doing, and I'm like, uh, you know, I can't really explain. It's sort of a freeform kind of uh, deal, which is not something <laughs> your boss wants to hear. No, I can imagine. Oh my god! Oh my god! I've just assembled all my armada, my armada in one system for the first time ever, and it is literally blocking out a sun. <laughs> Nice. That's, that's what the you want. Dyson Armada. <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly! This is insane. This is actually insane. The size of this fleet. Holy crap! Ooh, I have finished the first stage of my mega shipyard. Oh, this thing looks cool. I'm building a mega structure, which is like build even more ships, as if I needed any more ships. Because I just want to, you know, control all of reality at this point. <laughs> reality can be whatever I make it. The next decade, yeah, I think um, you're sort of right there about how uh, programming is sort of the closest thing we have to creating something from nothing. Because you create something quite tangibly real, but sort of just by typing it. Hmm. That's interesting, actually. Interesting oh, way of thinking about it. Too much pitch. 
Right, I've claimed the Fallen Empire homeworld, which is really going to piss them off. I uh, think I'm ready for war. I will have war. <laughs> and they will be very, very upset. But that's quite all right. This flat pass is very hard. You can really crash it quite hard, and it's, uh, it's pretty good. <laughs> I can do this. Move them to the edge of the system. My gateway's ready. Alright, let's do this. Oh, look at this fleet moving. Oh my god. He's got this, this, the fleets that have the uh, speed, speedy admirals going slightly ahead of the other ones. Well, uh, this is going to be a bit of a shock to this fallen empire. Total War Colossus. What does that do? See you later, Maximus Light. Declare war! Oh, I've got to wait for my Federation to vote yes. Oh, yep, yeah, they voted yes. Ugh, democracy. <laughs> no, I made it a majority vote, and then made uh, I made myself the most powerful um, person in it, then made it voted, like, by power of your empire. So basically, I'm the only one who can vote in anything, basically. Ah, kind of sort of a doomer. Unless they oh. all veto me, nobody can veto me. <laughs> if they want to, you know, not die. Here we go. I will have war. Here we go, guys. This is going to be something else. Look at this alpha damage. Watch the shots come in. Holy shit. Before my fleet even got in range, <laughs> they just wiped the system off the map. Holy crap. Okay. I need to wipe out all their defensive stations before I do anything. All right. Okay. Right. Let's get myself some dark matter reactors and things. Oh, it's fine. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good about this one. But can it land on the Two That's fleets there. So I don't risk putting out my fleet in case they their fleet then appears uh, and because fleet and being. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's all right. I can still attack them, but I don't want to split up my fleet in case they then use force concentration to then annihilate my fleet. You Be get honest. me. You have me got. I can pull that. I can pull that. Oh god! No! That was the most successful flight yet, though. Oh, you don't need to claim it because you have a super weapon. Oh, you take all their stuff for free. Because they have. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, I didn't know that. Oh, wait, they have a super weapon? Oh, shit. I didn't think about this, maybe. <laughs> it uh, intact. I'm sure it'll be Seaplane. fine. I made a seaplane flak term. You made a seaplane flak term? Yeah, it just kind of bounces over the ocean because it's like basically invincible. And I think it's oh, going to well, take that's... off again. Cute, I'm not quite guess. sure what's happening here. <laughs> this is so stupid. It's just going across the ocean upside down. Oh. <laughs> I wish I could see your stream right now. Every time I'm a bit busy, uh, yeah, conquering the galaxy, but I will you watch it catch later. Catch it in the VOD because this is the greatest thing ever. Every time I uh, build something stupid that flies, it always works in some weird, amazing way. All right, okay, let's revert and try and fly it again. Right, it is a time to take on their fleet. Let's see how powerful their fleet is. See you later. It's a, oh god, it's a 240k fleet. This is the most power. This is going to be the biggest battle in the I've ever had in Stellaris, I think. This is going to be insane. Okay, <laughs> are, they, are they traveling to us? Oh, yes, they are. Here they come. They've got a Colossus. They've got a Titan as well. Titan v Titan. Clash of the Titans. Oh, this is going to be cool. Holy shit. Where are they coming from? They're coming from... Mm. I need your flak tower here, Tape. I need your flak tower in Polaris. <laughs> you do, it's, it's Fight the Fallen Empire. A real, um, a 
be quite a thing. Okay, here they come. Oh crap, they went the, they went the other way! <laughs> they decided to outflank me, the sons of bitches. <laughs> you bastards. They just outfoxed me. You sons of bitches. You just out pizza the hut. Hey, mind maker, I'm making you a wall because I recognize you from a long time ago. I don't have a moderator right now. You don't really have to do anything, but you know. Mind maker was one of my battleships in the Fall of Kerbin. Yeah, that's why I recognize the name. Oh, Most crap. of the people uh, who get potted Ill. are probably because of that. Yeah. No, okay. A battle to end the ages! Oh god, I'm wiping them all out with alpha damage. They're not even getting close. Oh, <laughs> well that wasn't very epic. Uh, hmm. That was a little anticlimactic. Admiral Tape leveled up though. Shit, yeah. From wiping out a fallen empire. Um, well, that was anticlimactic. Holy shit. Let's get my science ship to I go steal all their technology. Wait, wasn't it a cruiser? I'm gonna merge these. Okay. Right, let's start uh, erasing oh, them. Oh, I got too much! Really freaks out if you go too much. Oof. Yeah, invading these planets seems way too much like hard work, so I'm just gonna cleanse them. <laughs> I think that's as flying as the flak tower is gonna get. Um, <laughs> I don't think it's getting much <laughs> better than <laughs> better than that. Um, I might call my stream day there. Okay, I think I'll go maybe another forty-five minutes. I'm gonna go until I defeat this fallen empire at oh, least. Right. That's all. Well, uh, it's been nice talking to you, penguin. I. Uh... Yeah, it's nice talking to you, man. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna jump off the call in the stream, and I'll talk to you soon, probably for the series. Right. See you, bud. See you, man. Bye. Okay, people. I hope you enjoyed the stream. I know it's, uh, you know, really, uh, 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 yeah. It's always a feat of engineering whenever I stream. It's always something beautiful and and not stupid. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope to be streaming, you know, more. Maybe every couple of weeks, that kind of thing. I do also intend to do some more VR videos. So stay tuned. I will be around occasionally. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you next.